I am a toasty wussy roaster. Who roasts the toast to make toasty roasts? In goes bread, out pops toast. That's how toaster roasts. What the heck, this game doesn't loop its menu music? Oh my god, really is early access. So this might be a kind of random question, but... Oh wait, did I do the animation? In goes bread, out pops... Wooden logs? That's how toaster roasts. Konpanwa, everyone. Konpanwa. Hello, still bread, just the extraction. Toaster wouldn't be like Mark II. Uh, this is kind of a random question, but do you guys like math? Do you guys like math? Because I really liked math. Like, when you guys were in school, did you guys like math or hate it? Because I think a lot of people hate it, and like, there's a lot of people who just do it, and there's definitely people who like it as well. Because um, earlier today, I was on, like, Archaea official Discord in the Off Topic channel, <laughs> and someone was, like, posting their math homework in there, and I just went and, like... <laughs> I just like smashed out, I just smashed out the answer and they're like, oh, Toaster, how are you so good at math? And you know, like a lot of people think that math is like, I just did calculus and absolutely hate it. I mean, like a lot of people think that math is like just like memorizing equations and like applying those equations, but to a certain degree, you can kind of just think of it as a puzzle game. Like that's like, a very weird way of putting it but it's basically just a puzzle game so that might be why i liked math so much and just like all games there are ways to make mental shortcuts for math and like remembering things in ways that isn't just straight up memorization yeah and the reason i bring that up is because um city builder games uh, along with a large According to Toaster, making the dimensions for a door is a puzzle game. I mean, in this way, you could consider it to be a puzzle. Oh my god, this is just like the time I said everything is logistics. Shush. I like math until it became theory. Yeah, theoretical math is like maybe a bit too advanced, but like definitely the, the simpler levels of math have a lot of applications in real life. Like, there's a lot of surprising ways you can use math. Colin Pangwa Davi. Oh, yeah. What was I saying about math? I was talking about. Right, city builder games and other genres of games like um, like automation games and maybe like even transport games and just a lot of sim games in general. Not all sim games, but a lot of simulator games are like actually very targeted towards the kind of people that would like math. Like obviously, if we look at like the deepest level of this automation games like Factorio, then that is obviously a game where you use a lot of math or like using math will like make you better at the game so much and then there's like city builder games which surprisingly is not a genre that i got into until maybe like one or two years ago but like i never i always thought of city building games like you can think of like sim city or like a uh, city's skylines as city builder games like at first, you might think like they're just like simulation games where they're more geared towards people who just want to design things. But actually, they can also be very heavily geared towards people who like math. Because to a certain degree, a lot of city builder games are actually just um, solving or optimizing packing problems where you're trying to pack like... A specific arrangement of things into a limited space and a lot of them are also about like having coverage of circles across the whole map <laughs> toaster sip you th i think you mean sup hello chat cav cav blue screen cav on tanwa yeah i don't know what the percentage of people in the world that like like these type of like logistics or simulator games. Toaster, everything is math. I hope you know. Yes, yes. The whole world is made out of math. Physics is made out of math. <laughs> Physics is made out of such complicated math that at the lowest level, you can't even actually put numbers on everything because they're just like sine waves and shit. Yay, uncertainty principle. But yeah, um, there's clearly a large amount of people out there who are into like math and stuff because city builder games and other type of simulator games are clearly extremely popular like especially factory building games math is logic logic is knowing how to get something from point a to point b 
Logically so, logic is logistic. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> this is bringing me flashbacks of, um... <laughs> this is bringing me flashbacks of, of, of Euro Truck Simulator. But, but yeah, there's clearly a large amount of people in this world who like math and related things because, like, there are a lot of factory building games out there. There are a lot of city building games out there. Temper Born is just like a random early access game, basically. But you got like huge games, you know, like City Skylines, and then you have like entire subgenres. Well, I mean, in terms of city builders, you've, then you've got stuff like Anno. Like, like Anno has like five entries in it, you know? And then you have stuff like. You've got like the subgenre of transport games like Rail Tycoon and whatnot. I guess transport games are not necessarily as popular, but um, there's definitely a lot of transport games. Uh, transport games are for weird people like me. And then like factory building games, although you could argue that fact real factory building games started with like Factorio, there were already like kind of automation puzzle games existed for a long time before that. Things like, you know, uh space chem and what, what's something even earlier than that i'm not very well versed in like super early video games but what would like a really early automation game be i don't know but automation games have been around for a long time and they've been becoming more popular too not just because of not just because of factorio but also because of like satisfactory and dyson sphere program i think these those are like the big three that people think of but in a way there's also minecraft is also an automation game in some ways and like, especially modded Minecraft, you know. And what I'm saying is like, I feel like the kind of people who play these type of games are just like, they're out there, but they just don't talk a lot because they're all like sh shut in nerds. <laughs> uh, yeah. I prefer rhythm games where you almost only train your eyes and hands. So that's the funny thing, Jesse, because rhythm games is a lot about like, intuition and just like going with the flow right just intuiting how something works actually the way i do the way that i handle um math and logic is also with intuition like i'm sure there are other people out there whose methodology of doing math and logic and that kind of stuff is more like set in stone but i really just intuit a lot of things just like straight up so like when I'm doing like math problems, a lot of it isn't because I'm like going through a library of things. It's just because I have like a reflex. I have a reflex built up to recognize a certain mathematical pattern and then pull out a method of solving that problem. It's not like a library, it's a reflex, you know? So in, in a way, the way I handle math and logic is similar to the way that I handle rhythm games, which is, you know, you see a certain pattern of notes and then you pull out a reflex of how to hit those notes. That's a very weird way of saying it, but I'm sure there are people out there who have the same experience as me. Yeah. Basically, if there's a genre, it is because there's someone who enjoys playing it. Not just someone, but many people. Yeah. Because there are definitely genres out there that are not, like, as well-developed. But I would say, like, city builders and automation games are on, like, the smaller side of the genres of video games. But it's definitely there, because people who play these games, like, they just get addicted and play forever. Anyways, I've been talking for quite a while now. <laughs> Useless chemical. Paradic chloral paradichlorobenzene? What is paradichlorobenzene? Well, I know what benzene is. That's a carbon ring. You can put some chlorine on one side of it, and I don't know what the paradi part is, though. Anyways, new game. New game. Um, there's two races. Yeah, there's two races in the early access. So this is an early access game. I think I mentioned this earlier. It just came out, like, one week ago or so, but I really wanted to try it out. Mm. There's two races, but you're only allowed to start with the first one. And then there's like all these random maps. I'm just going to pick the recommended one. Nerdster. Yes, I am a big nerd. I'll just pick normal. Normal difficulty. I am a nerd. Have I said this on stream before? I was president of math club in high school. <laughs> I feel like I've mentioned this before, haven't I? Haven't I? I've definitely told someone, I don't know if I've mentioned it on stream before, but I was in, in high school, I was president of math club. And actually the way I got elected president was really funny. 
basically we when we were for math club when we oh wait, hold on let me pause for math club when we when we do elections we have you know like a speech you give a speech to say why why i should be elected as the president and for my speech i actually just wrote a bunch of puns <laughs> <laughs> I wrote a bunch of math puns in a PowerPoint and then I presented that and people were like, yeah, this guy's funny. He can be president of the math club. I don't know why that worked, but it did work. I mean, people already had like a good opinion. <laughs> president of math. <laughs> yeah, I mean, people already had a good opinion of me in math club anyways, because I was like pretty smart. Went to a lot of like, I went to like the U U USAMO or whatever, but yeah. I didn't need to, like, give a serious presentation. That's very weird. But I've already looked a little bit into this game, so I do kind of know what I'm doing. But, uh... Running a whole democracy in math club. It wasn't a democracy. But yeah, I gotta build some roads. And then... Set up some wood chopping areas. And probably want to put down three of these, to be honest. Does it reach all the way to those bottom trees over there? Just put down two for now. And then I think I also remember... Oh, it tells me what I want to do down here. Okay. But also... Oh my god, I don't want to build that. I also need to set up a harvesting thing for food. And then... I think the game also... Alright, let me unpause. The game wants me to mark some trees to chop. I'll do that. So all of those are marked for chopping now. Also those. Look at the beavers go! Oh wait, they're doing nothing because I... They're doing nothing because, um... Well, there's nothing for them to do right now. Hold on. That's a gather flag. I also build a road over here. Kompanwa... Oh, hi Wolfie. Kompanwa Fumo hat. Yeah. City builders are city builders. This is like very weird for a city builder game. Or in terms of the, the flavor of this game is literally beavers. So it's just like, hmm, beavers? Beavers? Uh... <laughs> what? What language are they speaking? Oh, you can rename them? Oh, I didn't know that. I'm not going to do that. Yeah. My tenure... That's not the right term. My experience... Beaver... Oh my god! Oh my god, you're right. It is just an Animal Crossing language. I didn't notice. <laughs> it's literally just the Animal Crossing language. That's a very astute observation. I think the game wants me to build a water pump as well. Yeah, so you know the beavers—they have their—they have their needs. So I gotta go around building all this stuff to fulfill their needs. We gotta make sure there's wood to build stuff with. We gotta make sure there's water so they don't die of thirst. And we have this here to gather berries for food, because you need to eat or else you'll die. Build water pump. No, oh, it's not done building yet. But my experience with these type of games is actually fairly small. I would say because it all started i think back in 2008 17 wait, wait wait when did i graduate from college shit why do i have to think about this i hate this it all <laughs> holy shit guys i have to think about when i graduated from college and so i started in like 2017 or 18 I've, I've, at that time, I had like heard of Factorio for quite a while, but I was always like, no, I can't get Factorio because this seems like the kind of game that if I started, I would get super addicted to it. And then, because I was not, <laughs> I was not in a good place during those years. Okay, continue. Right. I was not in a good place during those years. The game wants me to build these stockpiles, by the way, so that's why I'm doing this. I was not in a good place during those years. And one of the ways... 
that is like one of the reasons that I got Factorio despite knowing that I would get addicted to it is because I was like I just needed something to feel you know I was not in a good place and just it's just like that um but hold on do I want to put this here wait I kind of want to put that over here because I have OCD but um, I was not in a good place, so I ended up getting Factorio, and boy was I right. I was super addicted to Factorio for like... <laughs> I was just super addicted to Factorio. I played it so much. Oh, I think it was like the winter of one of those years, but that was basically my first time I got into a factory building game. You know, despite the fact that it's definitely a genre that was made for me, I didn't play it until so re relatively recent. And like, I think I beat the game over the course of like one week or something. It was the winter of 2017, I think, over the holiday season. I literally like played it for like 50 hours straight. And then, and then I beat it. I launched the rocket. I was like, wow, my factory is shit. And then I think the year, the summer after that, I had like experimented a lot in Factorio, but then I was like, hmm, Minecraft also has these like mods and stuff, and a lot of them look like they have automation like Factorio, so I got into modded Minecraft, and that was a huge mistake. Modded Minecraft, um, oof, takes so much time. It takes so much time, but again, I was not in a good place, so I binged that like crazy. I don't know anything about, fact about Factorio, but I had no idea it was a game with an end goal. It does have an end goal. The, the usual end goal is to launch a rocket so that you you can launch... You launch a... Yeah, you build up your infrastructure so that you're able to launch a satellite into orbit in order to contact your home planet so that you can escape from the planet. That's like the gist of the plot. There's not really any plot, but that's what you do in Factorio. <laughs> yeah, but then, you know, when people finish doing that, they might, like, try to, like, optimize their factory, they might try to launch a rocket faster, like, a good experienced player could probably do it in 20 to 30 hours if they were not, like, trying very hard. A first-timer can take anywhere from, like, 50 to, like, 200 hours <laughs> to beat it the first time, and, like, speedrunners can do it in, like, 3 hours, it's freaking crazy. But even after you launch the first rocket with the first satellite, you can still, it gives you, like, more science that you use to um, improve your factory. So you can like keep building more factories. People will do stuff like, they'll aim for like a factory that can like launch like five rockets per second or something. And that takes like a lot of automation and stuff that you have to build. But that's like the post end game goal of Factorio. Sounds like time to get into Factorio. If you like, Factorio is called an automation game, but I personally think of it more as a logistics game. You spend more time wiring things around than like actually build. Well, I mean, a lot of automation is just logistics, you know. Why are they not working on these things? Oh my god. Chop wood faster, you dumb beavers. I have three of them, right? Welp. Yeah. Uh, Factor is definitely a very time-consuming game. I've probably beaten it, like, multiple times. I've also... Modded Factorio is also a thing, and some of the mods are just absolutely insane. There's like a set called Angel Bobs that used to be really popular that would take like multiple hundreds of hours to launch if a single rocket. And then there's another mod called a more a more modern mod called Space Exploration, where the goal is to like like they extend the end game and make the goal to build a spaceship capable of warp speed travel and that also takes like 500 to 1000 hours i tried playing that and like i couldn't get past halfway through the game the factories just get too complicated but even though factor is called an automation game i personally think it's a logistics game it's really about getting items from point a to point b yeah uh modded minecraft is a full-time job it is especially if you're playing like an expert pack i don't know if you've ever played an expert pack extraction but the fact that you described it as such makes it sound like you've played an expert pack before um expert packs are basically the best way to describe it is they take a bunch of different mods smash them like hundreds of mods smash them all together into one mod pack and then 
the person who designs the mod pack, they modify the recipes of items in the game so that they're harder to get. And then they usually make like the last item, like something that basically gives you creative mode and then require you to like go through every single mod in the game and build everything from it in extremely large quantities. That's what a mod, that's what an expert pack is like. Like, you know how in normal Minecraft you make a furnace with eight cobblestone? They might go like, ooh, you need like eight compressed cobblestone instead. So you actually need like 70, two or some crap but yeah they make everything harder <laughs> and expert packs the crazy ones like project ozone and shit they also take like multiple hundreds of hours to complete oh man these beavers are going so slow they also take multiple hundreds of hours to complete and that is it's very unhealthy it's definitely very unhealthy as i stated myself i used it as a way of getting through or ignoring a hard time yeah <laughs> yeah maybe i should put out one more of these i need more lumberjacks oh man i don't i try not to play those games too much nowadays but it still happens they're just so time consuming like one game of in the time it takes for you to beat like one game of factorio you could have like played an entire single player campaign game but i mean it's worth the price right you pay 30 dollars for factorio and bam you have like 2000 hours of gameplay or infinite hours if you play mods i mean, sometimes i kind of hate that my brain likes those type of games so much but it's just kind of the way it is just got it i mean like at least you can think of it like I know like what I what kind of games I like so oh I need to build a science thing right scientific beavers wait where's the entrance oh it's right there I'll just put that there then I'll probably need to set up some farms eventually as well Yeah, so a lot of city builder games like this where there's like you have to manage each individual um, citizen running around depending on the way the game is designed it might end up either being about like for example banished is all about the positioning of things Making the travel distance for your beavers as, sh or not beavers, but in banishes people, making the travel distance as short as possible. And the reason for that is because they like, the people in that game need, when they have a need for something, they will drop what they are doing and go do it immediately. So in that game, it's actually, despite the fact that it's a city builder, it's actually about putting housing and like resource collection nodes as close to each other as possible. This game doesn't suffer from that because it's a, um, it has a day night cycle. It has work hours and then like socializing hours for the beavers. So it doesn't really matter that the distances are long because you can't overwork them anyway. So like they have time to walk around and do stuff during the nighttime hours. So there's no need to put things like ridiculously close to each other. There's also other games like Anno where you don't even need to worry about individual citizens moving around and they tend to have essentially what you can think of as teleportation of items across distances. And then those games are just completely 100% purely about um, box packing. Packing, you know, you see how like these each of these things has a particular range or like or like how I have to build like this water thing and this water storage thing. When I start to have to build more things, there's going to be a lot of um, box packing involved where you're trying to make the most use of your space as possible. Games like Anno are like purely about that. Really crazy. Crazy. Hmm. One, two, three. Okay, this is two by three. Yeah, two by three. One, two, three, four, five, six. What I've heard, or what I've read, is that six by six farm plots are the best in this game. I'm not really sure exactly why, but I will just, I will just trust that. Let me build one of those. 
And I do know that I need to get started on like actual renewable food production pretty fast. I wanna I'm gonna run out of food if I don't do that. I have 136 berries right now, but once all these berries get picked, it's gonna be more painful. Uh, and then after that I need to think about building housing as well. So the one interesting thing about this game that makes it a bit different from other city builders is that there's a water physics. And see how this like river flows through the land like this? It has water physics and this forecasting sometimes there will be a drought and the river will stop flowing and then it will like lower to a certain level which is only this lake over here. And when that happens, this river stops flowing and the water will just disappear. And that is a problem because all this green land that you see around the river is based is actually based on how close to water it is. Um, green land is literally 100% based on water. And so when the drought hits, there's no more green land and green land is the only place that you can plant trees and plants on. So that's why this is a beaver game, because, you know, beavers have to build dams to stop this stuff from happening. And you can build dams in this game as well. There's a... Um, where is the dam button? Well, landscaping? No. Yes, dams. You can build dams and, like, literally block off the flow of water so that when a drought hits, the water won't instantly go away. It'll stop the water flow, but it won't go away instantly. Oh my god, they're sleeping on the ground again. Please stop. At the beginning of these games, one of the big problems is usually just... Oh yeah, because it's an early access game, you can clip through the floor and look underneath like this. <laughs> because this is a city builder game with the citizens, one of the... <sighs> one of the usual issues with the very beginning of the game is you don't have a lot of people to do stuff. So things just take a while. Let me speed up the game, actually. Let me start planning out where to put houses. Ah, there we go. Ver. Look at how fast they're going. All right. How do I build houses again here? What is this called? District. Oh, yeah. One of the interesting things about this game is it has this district system where, um, you know, beavers can only do stuff within the district. And you can kind of increase the range Wait, will they go out and shop there, even though it's outside the district? Hmm, maybe. But beavers can only build stuff within the range of the district. You can increase the range by building roads and stuff, though, so it's usually fine to not build a district until much later. And the other thing about this game is that it explicitly requires that everything be linked by roads. If something is not connected to a road, then it literally just won't even work at all. Can they please build this farm thing faster farmhouse ring ring wait what size is this two by two stop sleeping on the ground i promise i'll build you guys houses later yeah also in this game you can see everyone has these like different bars um and there's like little buffs wait why did that become green? Oh, because I let the water in here. Oh, okay. Got all these bars, and they get buffs if you can fill up these bars. A lot of them are just like building different buildings that they hang out at. Oh wait, the farm thing is done. Let me plant some... Crops... Carrots? This is six, right? For some reason, it bothers me that there is no display telling me that this is six. Just bought Factorial, but looks like I can't get it to start- Wait, what? You actually went and bought Factorial? <laughs> um, Godspeed, you're going to- You're going to lose your life. Goodbye. <laughs> if you let yourself get addicted to it, you're just not going to see the sun for like- You're not going to see the sun for like a week. We'll come out and be like, I finally did it! I launched my rocket! <laughs> and your family will be like, where have you been? <laughs> Hold on, where's the demolish building? There has to be a button to... Hmm? Wait, tree cutting area? I didn't even know it was an area. The heck? Ah, you can demolish resources. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. That's good. 
Let me... What's I doing? I need to plant some carrots. Okay, so see how they have... They have three... Did you buy, did you buy it on Steam? Steam shouldn't take that long to download it. The game is really small. You see, they, they have three different nutrition bars. And each of them gives like a different... Oh wait, they all give life expectancy. They changed the buff on it since I started playing this. What? But uh... There's three kinds of food, carrot, potato, and wheat, and each of them gives a different category of nutrition. Berries actually don't give any nutrition, but yeah, that's the reason you want to um, plant all three types of food is because they give you different types of nutrition. Uh, there is a problem though, which is that so carrots grow the fastest um, and they don't need to be processed. But the later, the other two types of food that you can plant are potatoes, I think, potatoes and wheat. And they have increasingly complicated processing chains. Potatoes need to be cooked before they can be um, eaten. And then wheat needs to be like milled and then cooked into bread or something. How do I delete these roads? Hello? How do I delete these roads? That's marked for demolish. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Goodbye. Things don't work so well with my VPN. Oh, I see. Carrot. Seedling. Oh, I already have two of them. Uh, uh. I think I should be able to build the thing that lets me cook. Yeah, grill. So potatoes need to be cooked, so I need to build this grill building. Blah. And then let me plant some potatoes as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Potato. <laughs> Potato. Okay, so they do gather outside the district range. Okay, that's good to know. And I need to set up. So you see I'm already quickly, run quickly running out of wood just by like digging up this small area. Wait, I have 96? What the heck? Let me build a few houses. I didn't realize I had so much wood already. This is housing, yes. I think each of these can hold three, so I need to build six of them. Or sorry, four of them. See, this is this is where the math part of the game comes into play. <laughs> you need to know, you need to do math. Like, yeah, each house holds three, and I have 10 people, so I should build four houses in order to house 12 people in total, which is more than the number I have, right? And like other games of this genre, when you have free housing, then usually that's how that's how they start reproducing when you have free housing. Okay, let me demolish this. So you gotta you gotta build houses to support the population you want. And more potatoes. Six by six, right? Yeah, that looks like a square to me. Hello, tree. Hmm. Look at them go. They're planting the potatoes. Potato. Now these are going to take forever to build as well. Why does this take so long to build? I actually don't know. I see, there's only one person hauling the things over, because the rest of them are all busy working. Okay, well that's fine, probably. Probably. And this is full, so the guy who's working there automatically becomes a hauler. It's good. Please get back to work, I need houses. <laughs> Make such a funny noise. Where's the... I can I think I can fulfill one of their needs already, which is the need to a social life, I think, can be fulfilled. Come on! Hello, slaver storage. None of these are the right buttons. Wait, what? I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Leisure, there you go. Campfire. Satisfy social life. Ground only must be built on the ground. Yeah, I can build this here. What does this cost? In wood? No, that's not a good idea. I need to set up renewable wood. 
Yeah, wood. And I think for that... I have 54 science. Am I really bottlenecked by science? I need 60 science for that. <laughs> okay. Let's see. To plant some wood, I'm going to need to have the forester hut. Yes. Maybe I should build more science huts. No, I don't have people to work them, though. I don't have people to work them. I do have more wood than I need right now, and I think I can probably turn that off for now. Build one more of these science things. Middle mouse button, please. Hmm. No, I need people for the wood planting. Forester. Plants trees and bushes? Wait, that plants bushes? I didn't know that. Please, finish the science. Okay, let's see here. Oh, that's a lumber mill. This is a forester. Unlock that. This is where people can go out and plant trees from. Hmm. I think it's time for my music class's performance, so bye for now. If you're wondering, they are playing Thousand Years Solo and only students are watching. Uh, good luck with that. Thousand Years Solo. I think... I will... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Pie for a couple of hours. If I'm still playing this game when you get back, please save me from the clutches of of <laughs> the clutches of these type of games. I really definitely get addicted to them easily. As you can see, I'm already I'm already starting to just stare at it and be like, where is the most optimal place to put this? Hon hon hon. I'm sure I can just move it later, so I'll just put the... Oh shit, I don't have planks. Wait. I need the lumber mill. I need the lumber mill to make planks, but the lumber mill requires power, which is another very interesting part of this game. Uh, water wheel. So, because the game is all, all about water and stuff, and the flow of water, there's a system, a, a power system, where... Wait, there's windmills? What? I didn't know that. There's a system where you generate power by like... Maybe, not, not electric power, but like actual torque and shit. Using... Using like water... Wait. High power shaft. Oh, I don't have the ability to do that right now. Yeah, let's see. Okay, let me put this water wheel somewhere where it will probably turn and generate power. And put this here. And then the lumber jack, the lumber mill needs to be right next to it so that it actually gets power from the water wheel. Or not, it doesn't have to be right next to it, but it needs to be close by. Can I just put it right here? Does that count as being attached? Hold on. What are you guys doing? Oh my god, this takes 50 logs? Holy shit. Well, good thing I have a lot of logs, huh? Okay, guys. Let's build this water wheel. Oh, stop going to sleep. I need you guys to do work. Okay. <laughs> They're just standing around. And if we built this water wheel, I'm not sure if something next to each other counts. I think any any collection of power generating items that are adjacent to each other will transfer power to each other is what I got from the tutorials. So this will probably work. You can actually see that there's water flowing. But if you build a dam, the water will stop flowing until it like flows over the dam, which is really... Well, that's how a dam works, right? Man, you guys are taking forever. Hey, you. Comfort? Wait, where do you get comfort from? 
Why does he have comfort? Oh, that's because they have a house, right? Uh... Again, this game is in early access, so I think the startup phase is definitely a bit slow. Wait, is there someone working here? Unable to get all required materials? What do you mean? Oh, there's no potatoes, right? Well, that makes sense. 49 logs. Okay, cool. And that is connected to the lumber mill, is it? 10 out of 11? I can add one more. Can they only hold one log at a time? Is that why they take forever to build things? Oh, I don't have a road to it. Okay. Okay, so it does get power from the water wheel. The water wheel powers the lumber mill, so now we can make planks! Which are required for the forester. The forester will plant trees in this area so that we can have more materials to build with. Yes, if only the forester would build faster though. Well, I guess the lumber mill has to be finished first, huh? Hmm. Your beavers are happier than ever. You have reached a new well being high score. Five goals? Oh, I see. Okay. Imagine not fulfilling the, <laughs> the wait wait. What's the first three? Hunger, thirst, and sleep. I think you just die if the first, if this need is not satisfied, the beaver will die. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Not have that happen. And over here, campfire. Let's just put that down so we can have one more of the needs fulfilled. Wow, this guy's chopping the logs into planks. I guess the idle people can make this campfire. Kompanwa Inc. This is more of a laid back game. Laid back game about building cities with beavers. I'm just going to watch these beavers run around, to be honest. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wait a minute. Why is this one. Oh, turn that back on. I already got all the basics going, basically. I'm kind of afraid for the... F I'm not sure if this is actually producing enough food in the long run, so... We'll see about that. And I might start running out of... No unemployed beavers. Okay, take one of those off. And then plant... Right, there's... <sighs> Three different kind of trees, and the ones that take longer to grow give more logs. But that's actually kind of dangerous because um, it's dangerous to plant the ones that take longer to grow because if they don't get watered, then they'll die, which is not very good. I think I can just designate this whole area, huh? <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Well, I guess that's the area that we plant our trees in now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No unemployed beavers in did. Okay. Turn this one off then. And then I should build more houses so we have more beavers to work with. I'll build these. Doo -doo. I shouldn't build too many because if I build too many... Can I not... Wait, prioritize harvesting. Planting? I should probably prioritize planting. I think these two beavers only work enough to be able to handle these three plots. Oh my god, I didn't think about that earlier. And it's pretty far away from storehouse, warehouse, 31 carrots, okay. <laughs> Is there not a picker function in this game? In some, a lot of these type of games, there's like a button you can, like, like Minecraft, you can use middle mouse, you can use middle mouse button to pick a but pick a building and it'll automatically set it to that building. 
I guess this... Well, I don't know the hotkeys. I like how the key bindings are literally just not even modifiable. Um, shift rotates faster. Delete. Okay, I guess there's no picker. I didn't realize how low the range on this farmhouse was. I might have to move these plots around later. And I should probably delete those trees as well. Look at them go. They're planting the trees. Oh, there's a draw coming in 2.7 days, yes. That's not good. Where is the button to build a dam? Water? No, that's not it. Water pump. Storage? Landscaping? Ah, there we go. 1T logs? I can't build this in time. I can't build this in time. This costs so many logs. I don't have that much. Wait, can I? Does it work if I build a diagonal dam like this? Hmm. Hmm. Hold on. I'm not going to build this yet. Let me get rid of this. I'd rather... I'd rather have the wood for other use. For now. Where's the delete button again? Hello? 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 Oh, here it is. Huh. Potato. 88 food. Well, that seems like I'm running out of food. That is probably... F sometimes fire and wood are a good match. Yes, sometimes it is. But not always. <laughs> Considering that everything these beavers make are made out of wood, that seems kind of dangerous. What if everything is just caught on fire? Well, that's not a game in this... That's not a mechanic in this game yet, so I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these potatoes. There's so There's so many of them. Do real potatoes look like this when you grow them? They don't, right? <laughs> they don't. Of course. No, no, they don't. They don't. Wait. Oh, I see. <laughs> Hmm. Hold on, let me check the plot. This two here. Five six. Uh, building lacks materials. Um yes. Can I lower the amount of planks that are made in total? Let me lower that to ten. I don't think I need that much right now. 18 housing, 14 beavers, but not all of them are grown up yet. Nine days until a drought. All right, let's see how that works out. I wonder, can beavers just walk up and down these? Oh, oh, there's a slope here. What the heck? I didn't notice that. But is it possible for me to extend this far enough that it goes all the way there? Let me see about that. Let me build a road over there. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, roads are free, right. No reason not to build them. Let's see how far this goes. Whoa, it actually does go all the way there. What the heck? What the hecky? What the hecky? Um... <clears throat> oh my god, that makes such a stupid noise. Well, my food seems to be going up quite well now. I think I can go up here and gather the wood over there. Hmm. Also, the lumberjack flag, yes. Yep. And, oh, those are free, huh? No reason not to build them then. Does that count as connected? Yeah, it does. Okay. I'll just leave that off for now. Turn that one off too.
then. Da -da -da -da. Drought started. Okay. So we can see how the water stops flowing. And the water stops flowing. The water stops flowing, and then the land becomes like dry as a result. Have you played Anti Chamber? Yes, I have played Anti Chamber. I played it a really long time ago. Back in the. Um, it's like right after it came out. And that's a very long time ago, actually. Anti Chamber. <laughs> oh my god. The, the timer in the first room? Fuck that timer, man. I remember getting trolled by it and being like, how is it possible to finish this game in this time? And the timer was just like, <laughs> just kidding, you don't have a timer. And it's like, <sighs> okay. Okay. Anti Chamber was like my first introduction to. Right? I think it, no, it might have been Fez, but Antichamber was definitely one of my first like non-Euclidean geometry games. So when I was playing um Super Liminal, like the non-Euclidean Yeah, 2013. I played it in college, yeah. So because it was because Antichamber was one of my first non-Euclidean geometry games, I was not thrown off by the non-Euclidean geometry in um in super liminal at all super liminal's non-euclidean is very very basic wait it's drying out and will die in one day seriously Can you guys please harvest these faster before they die? So all these things I planted are just... will die in 11 days. Okay. That's that's fine. Did these die? <gasps> what? They dried out and died. Oh, if they're already... completely grown, it's fine. Ever played Manifold Garden? No. I have not played Manifold Garden before. I could play Manifold Garden like next week or something. I have heard that Manifold Garden is also not actually that as good as it sounds, I think, something like that, because um I mean there's no beaver to work at that lumber. Flag. Hello? Do I not have one more lumber beaver? I'll turn this one off for now. I should get one guy to work here, right? Yes. I've heard a lot of Manifold Garden's actual puzzles is basically just like jump down this ledge and then whoa! And then you're at the destination. Or like just clip through this wall because lol. Okay, I, can, I think I can still play that at some point though. It's not that original. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, I forgot to mark this as a tree cutting area. No wonder they're not doing shit here. Fuck. Okay, let me do that. Ugh. It's visually cool, but not very puzzle heavy. Yeah. No, no. So, so the thing I remember about Anti Chamber is actually, I think it was Nitro complaining about it <laughs> on like Twitter or maybe in company, like off topic chat, something like that. <laughs> I think, or maybe it was actually you, Exhaust, and I don't remember. It was like one of, one of the two of you. It was probably Nitro. Nitro really likes to complain about things on Twitter, if you guys haven't noticed. This is not a secret. Everyone knows. Does the game have a season? I don't think. Wait, cycle one, day four. Maybe? I, I don't know if it has a season system. It goes through cycles of drought and like not drought. That's as far as I know. So we're basically to the point that I know how this game works. I have no idea what to do after this point. I guess I just need to get more wood for it. Come on guys, chop down those trees faster. 11 out of 11, two... Lumber mill 1-1. One, one. I guess I can turn off the lumber mill for now, huh? Let me... Oh, why does the line get red there? I see. Is that the maximum range that I can extend roads to? I didn't know I could build these roads out so far, actually. Let's build another lumberjack flag over here. Um... Let's forget. Get rid of that right there. 
All right, goodbye, guys. Let's see here. Once the next wet season comes, I should definitely work on that. Damn. For now, I want to take a look at what all this other stuff is. Oh, yeah, one special thing about this game is that you can stack buildings on top of each other. You can stack buildings on top of each other. But I don't think I have a way of like, giving them access to that yet, so that's why I'm not doing that. Platform. Wooden stairs. This costs so much science points for some unfathomable reason. Let's see here. Lumberjack flag, yes. Alright, guys. Hey. Why are you not gathering the potatoes? They're gonna die! Oh, it's already dead. Shit. <laughs> okay. I think all my foods just went down, huh? It's a good thing I built up a lot of food. When I was reading reviews for this game, I read a lot about like people having all their beavers die during the first drought season because they weren't prepared for it. So I, I made extra sure to prepare everything before then. <laughs> I guess since the farmers can't do anything, I can just put them on wood chopping duty, huh? But these trees aren't going to grow because, well, obviously. And then maybe I can put another science lab down. How much does this cost? 12 logs? That's pretty cheap. Put another science lab down. I'll turn this one. It's already turned off. And he goes to work there. Oh, I have one more beaver. Okay. I guess I can start working on that dam already, huh? One, two, three, four, five. That's like the shortest dam I could build. I'll build that there. Can they? Wait, will they go out that far to work? Too far from builders. Oh my god, they actually won't go out that far to build. What if I undesignate? Undesignate this area over here. Plant trees. Your planting area. I undesignate that. Get rid of all this stuff in the way. And I can start building a road out to the place that I want to build the dam. Yes. Mm hmm. Yes. All right, guys. Ah, my god, but that could be done. Photoshop crashed on you? Well, I hope you're like me, and <laughs> whenever I'm doing like creative work, I like hit Control S reflexively like every minute. Imagine not hitting Control S reflexively every minute. F for your work. <laughs> I'm laughing at you. I'm sorry, but I'm also laughing. Ah, uh, yes, you see, because the drought season is over, now the water is coming back and everything's green again. Beautiful. <laughs> it's too late. Half the trees are dead already. I don't get it. Why does this one not reach us? Or, huh? What? No unemployed beavers in district? Guys, there's only three beavers. They all died of thirst. Oh. They all died of thirst. All of them died of thirst. How could this happen? <laughs> I didn't realize I needed to save that much water.
The only addiction I have is to navigate through all the programs using alt tab. I don't do that. I'm not a person like that. I know people who do that though. All right. Um. Uh, they all died of thirst. What the fuck, man? I didn't realize that, that I would not have had enough water saved up. I had enough food, but not water. What did I walk into? You see, there's a drought season, and I didn't make it through the drought. Um, I ran out of water, and they all died of thirst. Now that I think about it, you know what I could have done? I could have just, I could have just built a. I kind of build a pump like over here, right? I kind of build a pump over the lake, and that would have given more water to work with, even during the drought season. Okay, so we're gonna to have to restart because I am not going to keep going with only three beavers. That's kind of... I think they'll take too long to reproduce, I think. Probably? And I think more of them might actually die of thirst very soon. <laughs> you build a beautiful city. I didn't realize. Can you guys please stop dying of thirst? Hold on. Hello? I need priority on this. Priority? For construction demolition only? Really? Look, 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 they all died of thirst on the last day of the fucking drought. Kompanwa. Oh. Kompanwa. All of my beavers died of thirst because I didn't know that would be a thing. I'm... Oh my god, man. Uh... One... Uh, uh, I'm so depressed. <laughs> okay, we're gonna... Oh, there's all the saves. Is this the Dark Souls of City Builders? I'm starting to think it is. I'm starting to think it is, Plata. Okay, we don't have to start over. We can load back a few autosaves. My god, there's autosaves, man. <laughs> me when God told me not to die of thirst. <laughs> Better me when God told me not to die of thirst. Peace. Wow. That was supposed to be the Minecraft cave noise, by the way. You're thirsty, just there was no water. That's the problem. <laughs> there wasn't any water. Can't not die of thirst when there's no water. Okay, so apparently this 30 water was not enough. God, I hate this. Timber born beaver water requirement. Right, I had just enough water to not die until the last day there. So what if... Wait, large 120? I don't have 120 signs. Basically, what the... Oh, I didn't even finish the lodge. Yeah. How many copies have I had today? Two? I almost had three, but I only had two. Um, that was pretty... Pretty stressed out today, not gonna lie. How much does this cost? 15 wood? Okay, I think I just want to build two more of these water tanks and see what happens. I want to have to redo all that other stuff as well, huh? Eh. Eh. Eh.
man. I didn't expect to actually like have a problem like that happen to be honest. I was like looking at my work not being getting done and I was like where did they all why is no one doing anything and then I noticed that all the viewers were dead. I just just as a log in your head can you toast it? I'm trying very hard but it's not getting toasted. I think I don't have enough power in me to like start up the fire. Right. What did I have last time? I had a bunch of roads. I need to build the roads back up here. Yeah. And then I need to mark all of this as a tree cutting area. Yes, yes, yes. And then I had lumberjack flags up here, I think. There's so many buttons. And you no. Know there's so many buttons and no keyboard shortcuts. Makes me kind of pissed, but um, I guess I'll just have to deal with it for now. Yeah, and the roads got built instantly, which is kind of OP at this point. But I bet they're going to make the roads not be instantly built in the future. Let me turn off all of these. Or at least two of them. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. -mm -mm -mm. Okay. Yeah. Can I prioritize this? Yeah, okay. I will prioritize building the water tanks so we can start storing water ASAP. Are you saying your toaster lacks the potential to toast the log? This log is too powerful for me. It's because it's the special Timberborn log. These logs are all incapable of catching on fire. Fire doesn't exist in this game unless the beavers will it to. So, um, yeah. The logs in my head might actually be too powerful. Alright, you stupid water gathering beaver. Hopefully I can stock up enough water this way. If not, I might actually need to build a second pump. Twenty eight water. Guys, can you please get rid of this? I guess the lumber mill can will have to wait until after this drought cycle, huh? I have a lot of extra workers right now, what the heck. How often do these guys need water? I wish I knew. It really helped me with knowing how much... Hmm. I think those things will get stocked up, so... Should be fine now. Let me move those two beavers over there so they start working on chopping those down. Toaster commit the toaster commits deforestation, yeah, basically. Then let me build a road over here. Then let me build that campfire again. Where's the campfire thing? Leisure? Ah yes. Hmm. I've only have 48 water stocked up. Ah yes, three days until the drought. Thank you for the sound. Thank you for the sound notification game. You know what? I'm going to build a second water pump because I'm not comfortable with how fast this current one is working. I'm going to build a second water pump. I'm going to build some roads for that too. Up the priority on that. Alright guys, go grab those logs faster. Maybe I should turn off. Wait, turn this off. I don't need more. Need more logs. What the heck? Or not logs? I don't need more planks right now. Turn that down to ten. Okay, that's full. So we have two of them now. No unemployed beavers. Really? Okay. Hello. What are you guys working on? 
11. Okay, one, two. I thought he... Why did that not unemploy him? Well, whatever. Okay, hopefully this time we can gather up enough water to not die of dehydration. Took me a hot minute there to remember the word dehydration. Yeah, the campfire only exists because the because the beavers will the fire to exist, you see? But I can't I can't make the logs catch on fire if the beavers are unwilling to have it happen. Unfortunately. Okay, my stock of water is a lot higher now. That's good. That is good. And these guys are not going to finish harvesting the potatoes on time, huh? These potatoes are definitely going to die by the drought season. Oh no. Please harvest faster. I beg of you. Stop drinking the water. We need it for drought season. Can I make another foresting thing here? Hello? Thank you. Yes, there's one day left until the drought. Thank you for the notification, game. Thank you for the notification of my impending death! Okay, we're just gonna have to deal with the first drought season. What? Oh yeah, that doesn't happen. Okay, yeah. That makes sense. That is correct. Potato. Berry. I should probably just get rid of this, huh? I don't think berries are very good. Uh... Uh, well, maybe I need them for now. <laughs> Let me plan out some stuff while we're waiting. I need to... I need to find... a... Can't you make a more direct path, path to the crops? Do they... What, how do they do this? You mean like, draw a road down the middle? Well, so the thing about the farmhouses is that they can only support two farmers at once. Oh shit, they have to walk all the way around to the... Oh my god. Hmm. I see, so the farmhouse should be on the... Uh, the farms should be on the opposite side of the farmhouse then, huh? Yeah, you're right. I can redo the plots later. Now the beavers don't actually need to walk on the roads to get from one place to another. They do walk faster when they're on roads, but if there's a shorter path elsewhere, they will just take it. But roads are free. <laughs> roads are free, why am I talking about that? I should just put down the roads because they're free. Don't have to worry about building roads when they're 100% free. Okay, now we get to see if I have enough water to last through this. I think it should be fine. Hmm. Oh, that just went down by like 1.30 in a day. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. We'll be fine. Several hours, several minutes later, it was not fine. Hey look, they're actually gathering the crops better this time too. Never mind, they're all dead. <laughs> More dirt path. Wait, wait, wait. The water dried out all the way to that pool? Really? I didn't know that. Oh right, because the river runs all the way over there. Okay. Do they need to go to the farmhouse first? Because that makes things more complicated. So they need to, every time they gather one crop, they need to run to the front of the farmhouse, which is actually making this be a bit, take a bit longer than it needs to. Um, I think I can deal with that though. Since all these crops are dead anyways, I might as well just move this farmhouse right now. 
Uh, these trees need to be cut down. I need to build a forest or, or lumberjack thing here. I really need to get rid of these trees first. I want to make a, like a row of farms like this, down like this, and then put the farmhouse over here. I don't know if you guys can see my mouse, I just realized. <laughs> oh, goodbye bushes. Then... Our house here. And I can put the road directly across from it like this. And then plots of farms will be across like that. Okay, that should be good. But I need to get rid of all these trees first. I pause this one. Building lacks materials? What do you mean building lacks materials? I have 186 wood, hello? What, what lacks materials? Why are you guys not getting rid of these? Is it because I don't have enough beavers working here? Let's see here. I guess these pumps don't do anything right now, huh? I can add more people to hauling for now. I still have 65 water, and there's only one day left on the drought, so we should be good. We should be good. Chopping wood lacks wood. Is that what was happening? That might actually have been what the message was for, now that I think about it. Okay. Farmhouse. It takes 25 logs. That's a lot of logs. What are you guys doing? I can't believe you guys are building that building even though it's not connected to anything. Uh, da, 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 da. Huh. Well then, I might as well move this over here. And do that. Are you sure you want to delete this road? Roads are free, game. Don't ask me that. I feel like this is like something so basic that they could fix in like two seconds, but I don't know who knows what their priorities are for early access. Alright, let's put this here instead. Yeah. Then these are all dead anyways, so. Okay, let's see here. Demolish resources. Get rid of these. Huh? Get rid of all of them. Stop faster! I need this stuff out of the way. Thank you. If I don't take these logs out and I delete the building, will those logs just be lost? Maybe. Mm, that's actually kind of annoying to think about. <laughs> if these, if if I delete these buildings while there's still logs inside and those logs get lost, that would be really annoying. Oh, I have a lot of logs right now. Are you sure you want to delete something you can get for- Yeah, I know, right? It's kind of... Eh, whatever, I just want to not think about it. Okay, let me build a dam here. Nice. I have a lot of wood, so these guys should all get to it very soon. I said these guys should get to it very soon. And the water is back. Nice. I can build more houses now, too. Actually, no, we're not yet. Okay. A <laughs> dam for air. The, the, the water is coming back. The drought's over. Look, the water is coming. And then we'll never have a drought again. Twelve out of twelve. All right. Get building, guys. 
Get to building, please. What are you guys doing? So slow. Nyom. Ah, finally. Green land. Ugh. I have power again to make planks if I need to. Guess I can unpause this one as well. Uh, probably not anyone to work on that one here. These are all at zero now, so I can delete these two. Wait, I didn't want them to plant these. Hold on. Oh, what? They stay there even if I delete the planting area? That's funny. And delete roads. Yes, I do want to delete. Look at how shiny the edge of this thing is. It's like so bright. It's just like rrr, the dangerous, ultra dangerous red coloring for some reason. Okay, plant crops. Let's see here. This can work all the way there, right? Yeah, okay. Carrot. Four, five, six. Kontangwa, Mark II. While you were gone, um, all of my beavers died. <laughs> died of critical lack of water, and I was very sad. Um, but we, we we've solved that problem. We've solved that problem. Not gonna let that happen again. Oh wait, I didn't get rid of that plot over there. Okay. Oh, I currently have two farmhouses. Right, let me get rid of this one. Okay. Okay, okay. That's good. I think I can have this back on now too. Um... All of these are paused? Okay. Instantly 12 out of 12. So anyways, my beavers died due to lack of water. Yes, that is what happened. And then after that, I, um... <laughs> after that, I reloaded my game from an older autosave. And that's where we are now. We managed to get through the drought without them all dying from dehydration this time. So at least for a population of 12, I think I'm set for a population of 12 now. Hopefully these plants are self-sustaining. So I'm gonna have to think about how to expand from here on out. But population of 12, all good. What's this? Well-being six, right? I hope these droughts don't get more and worse and worse as the time goes on. But honestly, that feels like something this game would do. <laughs> And I'm still waiting for these guys to go. Oh, I just remembered. There's like a thing called a hauling post. I think if I add this... If I add this somewhere, then they can carry twice as much. Is that what that means? What's the range on this? Within a district? The whole district? Are you sure about that game? Hmm. Uh, well, let me get that forester up and running first. Okay. Imagine accidentally stepping on this structure as a human being that would all be crushed enough. N these are giant beavers. Actually, I don't know if they're giant beavers. I don't know what size these beavers are. They're beavers. But they're definitely not super tiny compared to a human being. Probably. <laughs> oh my god, how do I get rid of these? Right? Do I have to tell them to specifically get rid of all these dead plants? Uh... Okay, I think I can build a few more houses safely now. I can probably build maybe like two more houses. I don't want to overreach though.
okay here this building and build this building and you can carry twice as much for some reason <laughs> no the i think it says um haulers assist workers within a district in carrying good greatly increasing their productivity worker bonus strength plus 100 so basically it employs like one random ass beaver who's just super fucking strong <laughs> i think Wait, hold on, sorry. This would be lower priority. I definitely should get this, though. Increasing the strength plus 100? That means you can carry twice as much, right? Is there anything else here that increases strength? Because carrying twice as much seems like pretty good. Pretty good, I would say. I don't say so myself. But I really want this dam to be finished first, please. As everyone knows, civilization's fundaments are built underwater. Yes, yes it is, game. A gulp of fresh water is enough to pump you up. Encouraged by old Cosmo, mechanized wood processing costs much gnashing of teeth among older beavers. Yeah, imagine not carving out planks with your teeth. How dare you? Old Cans Cones Opus Magnum. Here's a buff guy, no need to carry that. Yeah, the buff guy will carry it. And just build this building, and then the beaver who goes inside of it just becomes buff for no reason. <laughs> Uh, I need to prioritize the dam as well. Gok. Bon pang wa ji, okay. Gok. Please, finish the dam. Damn it! Alright, the dam is complete. Yeah, so the way this works is once the drought hits the water will stop flowing because you know the water level will be low it does mean that the water wheel will stop working but and, and i guess we'll slowly run out of water as we use water pumps but everything will not die <laughs> from critical lack of water You know, <laughs> Yami, you know damn well that I just did. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. Let me see. What do I want to do next? Oh, right. Hold on. Holders. The most muscular of all beavers. You don't want to step on a hauler's tail. I just realized, but... This thing can have up to 10 slots, so maybe... I just want to say toaster. Thank you for saying toaster. Hello. <laughs> uh. So you actually do need multiple beavers, huh? Multiple beavers. Let me pause that for now. I didn't realize how much... I didn't realize I need so many beavers for that. And I also need to mark this area as tree planting area. Tree planting. Well, damn, that's a good pun. I <laughs> get it. Beavers. <laughs> God, kill me. Kill me. This is so stupid. It's like the pine tree takes only three more days to build or grow, but it gives twice as many logs, so it makes me kind of go... Mm. Okay, I think that's good. I just missed the damn pun I grabbed food. Yes, you did. You missed like three in a row, actually. <laughs> Wait. Why am I running out of food? Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. It's because, um... Well, they weren't growing any food during the drought. Oh, boy. Okay. Um... Is there a gatherer here now? Please? Hello? Please? Sir? Okay. Oh god. Gather the berries faster, please. I didn't notice my food dropped so low. Uh, that's kind of dangerous. Imagine, right after everyone died with dehydration, now they're all going to die of thirst instead. Kon Panwa Daniel Nguyen. Please gather the berries faster. We're all gonna die. 
No goods in stock, no unemployed people. What are they all doing? Three lumberjacks. Oh, I see. Guess I can turn off the lumber mill for now. Uh, turn off all of these as well. I mean, all of these trees are basically cut down already, so there's no point in these left. Um, how far does this district go? It's, oh, that one still has logs stored in it. Dang it. Oh, I can prioritize it. Oh, that's nice. Okay, I'm up to 34 food now. That's good. I mean, these things are free, so that's why I just build a bunch of them. Uh, what exactly do the haulers do? The haulers are just, they just move things around. They're just like the regular haulers, except better, because they have double strength. I see. It's not that much that important for me to have that for now, I think. Berry. Okay. I guess trees won't naturally grow here because, well, I mean... I'm going to beaver that the beavers will live through the next drought. I don't even know what you're trying to say there. Uh, okay, let's see if this reaches far enough. Oh, wow, it does reach that far. But it's starting to reach the end of the path as well. Okay, then. Uh, let me build some more of the gathering things over there. Gather flag. Prioritize building by haulers. Turn these off as well. Okay. And then I think I can build just one here to gather up those remaining trees. And. Wow, look, I got so many berries. My food stocks are crazy now. And I'm pretty good on water as well. I think I can start this back up. Except I don't have a worker for it. I don't really need any planks right now, do I? I have 23 planks, but they don't do anything. Never mind, I'm turning that off. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. I need to put this guy back in science. No unemployed beavers? What are you talking about? But it... Really? They're all... Hmm... Employs builders. Oh, the district center employs builders? Okay, that's pretty important. <laughs> I guess I can turn off the hauling thing for now. Kind of annoying that you can't set it to zero workers. You have to pause instead of setting it to zero. Alright. Let's see here. Grill. Grill potatoes. Oh, I do have more beavers now it's just that they're all not grown up yet okay hmm i wouldn't have imagined that i would catch you live uh what are you talking about don't you catch me live all the time please <laughs> I know you probably only said that for the pun, but it's still kind of funny. Can I build stairs yet? Oh, I do have enough science for that, huh? Alright, let's take a look at this 3D stuff. Wooden stairs. Why did that cost so much science? Hello? Locks water completely. 
dynamite. He destroys a block train underneath it and triggers adjacent dynamites. Manufactures explosives from paper? What? Interesting. I can build these stairs now. Okay. Which means I have access to this higher land. Except this higher land seems to be kind of useless because it's all brown. Well, I guess I can build houses up there, right? I can build houses up here and they won't care because it's... Well, I'm not doing any farming up there. Yeah, that should be fine. When you delete buildings in this game, you don't get any of your construction costs back, which is kind of painful. Kind of painful, just a little bit. I want to think a little bit before actually doing anything like that. Good night, beavers. Have a nice sleep. I need to find another place to build more farms. I don't think I can process wheat yet, can I? No, that takes a lot of stuff. I need a grindstone and a bakery, which requires two beavers for boost the growth of nearby crops. What? That takes so much science, too. I don't have that much science. Oh, some of my beavers are growing up. Okay, I can build... More science huts? Inventor. Uh-huh, sure it's part with the adjacent buildings. I see. Doesn't see that JPEG. I want a beaver call a female beaver. Yes, please enlighten. Wait, why is this full? It's full of berries? The heck? The mad damn. Get it? <laughs> no. Please stop. You're killing me. I'm gonna die. You're gonna. I'm gonna die of unfunniness. Satisfies aesthetics? What the heck? Mm -hmm. Employs additional builders. Distributes goods to other districts. Right, I don't have other districts yet, so it doesn't matter. Duh. You just want to torment me with... <laughs> One, two, three, four. You want to torment me with puns through this whole stream? I don't know what ratio of farm types I should be building for. Should I be building... Because these potatoes take longer to grow. I think I should try to have an equal amount of each, obviously, but... They to grow four, they to grow six. Oh my god, that's such an annoying ratio game, please. That means I need to have one and a half times as many potato fields as carrot fields. And I wonder how much potatoes this thing is actually capable of processing. Well, it seems to actually be able to process all of my potatoes right now, so that's fine, right? I'm actually running low on carrots, though. So why are they preferring to eat carrots? Toaster's next stream, losing sense of hearing with horrible puns. Alright, I guess I can just build another carrot. While over there, to the best of my knowledge, this is now not enough farmers to handle everything, so I'll build another farmhouse on the other side. Right? This over here. I should not be wasting the space that's next to the water.
I wish that demolishing things would give you your materials back, because, like, I'm just sitting here like, shit, I can't. You know what? Let's just build these side by side. What's the worst that could happen? And it seems like the drought is not on its way yet. These trees take forever to grow, holy shit. Somehow I still have a lot of wood though, so... Okay, I guess. Oh, I have 15 workers now, holy shit. Uh, let me turn this back on. That. They're all doing nothing! Alright. Do idle beavers help? No, they don't because that guy is literally not helping. Okay. Hello. Building is full. I hate it. No, let me try something. Where are those stairs again? OMG, I just noticed. Yes, I'm waiting. <laughs> I'm waiting. You got all day. Can I build another warehouse right on top? The answer is yes, but I need something down here. Hold on. I, uh, let me... Other bones can be- okay, yeah, platform. I need that for sure. How much does this cost? Two, four? Uh, okay. It's not too bad. The beavers are wearing suits? No, they're not. Wait, are they? Oh, you don't you don't mean like tuxedo suits you mean like little like harnesses and stuff yeah they like wear like gear when it's appropriate for their job the story for this game is actually a post-apocalyptic earth and then like the beavers come and like you know for some reason the beavers have evolved to actually be smart like these are actually like human or pre-human level intelligence beavers or something like that and they know how to build houses and stuff Alright, let's see here. Let me move the science houses around. Uh, I wish these trees would grow faster. How big of a plot is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 14 by like 10, 140, 280 wood per 12 days, something like that. Uh, 280, 28. So I guess this could, this plot could consider, be considered to produce maybe like 20 wood a day or so, maybe? Something like that? Math! <laughs> this is why I was talking about math earlier. Is this game secretly just all about math? Or at least not about math, but knowing math helps a lot. I guess I could get up here and chop down these trees as well at some point, huh? It's not too important for me to go up there right now, though, I think. Probably. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. That means I would want four potato fields, because it was, what, three to four? Ratio. Wait, why are these all empty? Are, are you guys prioritizing harvesting? Is it better to prioritize harvesting or planting? Hard to tell. Uh oh, three days until the drought. Can I build lock piles on higher levels? Let me check. Must be built on ground. Alright, thanks game. So the lock piles have to be built on the ground, but the warehouses can be stacked up to... Stacked up for some sort of super awesome looking thing. Okay. 15 out of 15. 
I'm scared. I want to build more water things. Um. Toaster relearns his high school days because of... No, I've always been good at mental math. I use a lot of mental math during work as well. This is nothing new to me. And like, I tend to play a lot of these type of games off stream. So like, you know, nothing new. Look at him go. Okay. I need to do something about this storage. Uh, well, maybe not. I'm down to 71 wood. Yeah, but I'm gonna. I, I I need wood. Also, I have the dam now, so it's probably not as important, huh? Wait, can I build a road on top of this? I can build a road on top of it, or at least all it does is mark it as a road. But I still have a lot of space for this district, huh? Wow. Don't talk about math. I'm afraid of calculus. Well, it sucks to be you. Have you tried not being afraid of calculus? <laughs> Math is amazing. It would be nice to section out a whole area of land or trees at some point. Do these trees naturally regrow? What is the condition on trees naturally regrowing? They're just sitting here because they have nothing left to do. The berries are too full. What is rush E? Wait. Oh, this is actually capable of reaching all these trees over here, huh? Okay, let me build a road to that as well. Oop. These districts can be a lot larger than I thought. Also, this thing does not reach far enough. That's a big problem. I think at some point I will have to set up an area just for tree harvesting itself. I guess I should just clear this area out of shame. Uh... Math is amazing, but calculus... Oh yeah, you're right. Calculus does not really have... Oh wait, I need to mark these as cutting. You're right. <laughs> Like, like, basic math is, like, useful, but calculus on a daily basis is usually not useful. Yeah. So, I, when I say math is useful, I, I, I do mean, like, more of, like, the basic kinds of math, like, being able to do some... Never heard of Rush E? No, I don't think so. Guys, my music taste is literally only music game music. Ever since my music taste was corrupted by Toho remixes in 2010, I've only listened to shitty EDM and rhythm game music since then. <laughs> not not shitty EDM. Um, what I mean is, one of my friends a while ago s made a comment about like hardcore Tanoshi music. They said they said that it's kind of like it's kind of like um um what what was what what was the word? Junk food, junk food. They said that hardcore t listening to hardcore Tanoshi music is like eating junk food, okay? It's like the junk food of music. Would you guys agree with this statement? Because I think it's actually a pretty accurate statement. <laughs> hardcore Tanoshi music is the junk food of music. Or not just hardcore Tanoshi, but do Japanese doujin EDM in general is a lot like junk food of music. I really liked that, um comparison of doujin music to junk food it really kind of is like hardcore tanoshi music all all of it really is just like junk food really <laughs> like if like you show it to someone who's like not into it and they'll just be like this is too sweet slash why is this 220 bpm and all it is is just a bunch of stupid <laughs> kick sounds and then like anyone who's like into that kind of shit's just like oh i'm banging my head at 222 bpm <laughs> 
I love, I love hardcore Tanoshi music. Uh. One day, all these trees will grow. About EDM vindication is getting extended. Vindication is getting an extended version. Who said that? When did they say that? And do they have permission from us? <laughs> Dojin EDM is a junk food of music taste. Well, I guess I'm just into junk food then, huh? <laughs> into junk food, I'm proud of it. Okay, I really need to find a way to stack these buildings. Oh, did Lar post something about it? Lar is such a funny guy. Laura always should post a lot. You guys ever see like Laura's like you know, like flirts with his wife on Twitter or like they flirt with each other on Twitter like they or they don't actually flirt with each other but they like basically make posts out of them flirting with each other on Twitter. It's so funny. <laughs> uh, he is truly a wife guy. <gasps> the carrots are growing. How long has the drought been going on for? I literally did not even notice because the dam is doing its job. Thank you, dam. Uh-oh. It didn't block off some of the water over there. That's not good. I guess the dam didn't block water far enough to protect all of my trees. But it was enough for all of this area to remain green, which is good. Hmm. I would love to move things around, but these trees take forever to grow. I only have a budget of around 20 wood. Well, I mean, the answer to this is just build another forest area, yeah. I guess I could use this area over here, huh? Let me try to mark down this area as a tree area. 24, 8. That's one every three days, and this is one every six days. Damn, this is just twice as good. <laughs> Don't have enough wood? Just build a new forest, SMH. Yeah, literally what I'm doing right now. Just build a new forest. Imagine the trees could grow this fast in real life. Pray to God. I can't tell if this ground here is dry or not, but I'm just going to not plant trees there just in case. <laughs> Wait, but Mar but Mark 2, we were talking about Hardcore Tanoshi, and, and Eagle Seeker is not a Hardcore Tanoshi song, so what you gonna do about that? Oh man, if I build a forest for sure, he can... They'd be able to cover so much stuff. Hold on. Huh? 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 The direction it's rotated also counts. That's kind of annoying. I think I can just build this here, huh? Okay, I said again that it didn't cover. It didn't cover this area, so I'll just get rid of those. Bagel drop is pog and I might be part of said religion. Well, I'm glad you guys like Bagel Seeker that much. But the only Bagel Seeker, the only Bagel Seeker that's important to me is Bagel from Amori. You, got, you guys, I have not been able to stop. Oh no, I clicked on the... Wait, 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 wait. I have not been able to stop thinking about Amori since I finished the game. And like... I feel so bad for Basil now, actually, after having thought about it for a while. He basically just got abandoned by every single one of his friends and like just got completely fucked over. Like Aubrey was tor was bullying him, 
Like at least Hero had college and Kel had Kel had, you know, sports and Aubrey, even though she kinda got into a gang, she had her gang. She was like actually good friends with her gang. But then Basil's just getting bullied and like Kel won't talk to him or I guess Kel still talked to him, but like not very much to stop him from getting bullied. And, and then he's like, please promise me that we'll always be there for each other. And then and then Sonny's just like, mm, nah. <laughs> Sonny, why'd you do this to him? God, Sonny, even though he had his own things to deal with, he was still kind of a shitty friend to Basil. And I'm, I'm, I'm pretty salty about this. I I want to I wish I wondered why Basil had a higher voice than Aubrey. No, I feel like when I was voicing Aubrey, I gave Aubrey a higher voice whenever possible. But then you know I always do like, oh, Sunny, oh, you finally came back for me. I I always use that kind of voice for Basil. Ooh. Yeah, and now I just eternally feel bad for Basil, basically. Hmm. I have too many berries, guys. Oh man, these trees are finally growing up. I'm finally starting to get some wood again. Nice. I also kind of figured out that final fight between Sunny and Basil. Uh, Basil. Yeah, Basil's my religion. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see here. So I obviously don't need four water things now that I have this dam here. I hope. Do the droughts get longer and longer as the game goes on? Because that's like my main worry is that they do and then I'll get fucked over in the future because of that. I gotta go got class. Have a nice time at class. See ya. Goodbye Yami. Bye bye. Let me build more houses so I have even more beavers to work with, shall we? I think I can support two more beavers, yeah? Or two more houses, I mean. <laughs> this full storage is really pissing me off right now. <laughs> I guess I can move this guy somewhere else now too. Why does my neck always hurt? Ah! Alright, let me move science buildings over here. I'll build two of them as well. Uh... This beaver is just sitting there doing his research, and the building just disappears, and he's like, no, no, what? No. Effects of fun, working speed. Effects of knowledge, working speed. Spirituality, working speed. Oh man, I should definitely wear a neck brace or maybe get a gamer chair. I mean, I'm sitting in like a... It's not a gamer chair, but it's a chair. Da, 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 da. Holy shit, 12,000 science? The heck? What the hecky? Oh, I get it. You have to build multiple of these around all sets of buildings. They're like beacons from Factorio. That's my spirituality. Ground must be built on the ground. Yes, I don't have enough sense for that. That's my fun carousel. 400 horsepower? Are you shitting me? Each one of these only provides 180. I'm not using a metal folding chair. I'm using a... I don't know. Actually, I'm using a pretty bad chair right now because my... My, uh... Quote gamer chair is really squeaky, so I don't sit on it while streaming. Can you guys hear that? Oh, I guess you can't... That, that's my regular chair. I don't know if you guys can actually hear it from here. Compound while my grade just go drop dead, so I might not show for a while. Still can't show shows on Saturday. 
Let's see that. Uh, good luck with your studies, hot cat. <laughs> Good luck with your studies. I'll always be a person who advocates, like, paying attention in school. Please. School, very important. A statue of a well-fed beaver. A well-fed? Huh? What does that mean? Satisfies aesthetics within one tile. Does that mean I need to put, like, a shit ton of shrubs and crap everywhere, huh? How long does it satisfy it for? That's my question. How long does it satisfy it for? I see. I can't even get all the other things yet because I literally don't have the buildings for it. Mm. Your toes are farting. Shut the fuck up, Platypoo. <laughs> uh. Hmm. I can't believe my wood storage is full. Let me... What does it cost to build a log pile? Oh, log piles are free. Of course they are. It's just a pile of logs. Why would it cost anything? But where does the wood to make these fences come from? Oh, I guess they're made of the logs that are inside the log pile, huh? Is that how it works, huh? Explain to me, game. Okay. Ah, yes. Right. I need to build more storage. So what I want to try here is using... Stairs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it's just... My model can make such funny faces and then just like... <laughs> oh my god. Um... Hmm. I do something like this. Can they walk underneath that? I suppose they can. Hmm. Can I put a platform on top of the wood pile? No, I can't. Okay, that's good to know. Wait a minute. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I build a thingy like that. Then... Toaster is calcul- I'm calculating so goddamn hard right now, guys. Hold on, let me get rid of these. And then that there and this there. That, how high can I stack these? Oh man. And then if I build another storage right on top of this. <gasps> can I build another staircase on top of that? Uh. I'm trying to figure out how to make like a spiral staircase design right now. I feel like I might need a 3x3 three three space to make that work. Also, this arrangement of stacking is not very aesthetic at all. Uh. 
Run, beefers, run! Oh, I finally don't have 2,000 berries in here. Thank God. I can start storing more planks. 17 out of 17 and they're all working? Really? What are they all working on? Oh, okay. Forester can't plant these fast enough. That's a problem. The Forester can only... Only one person, so I might need more... Where's... Beaver. Yeah, it doesn't matter if it has a huge range of... Oh, but these are very long-growing plants, so I guess... Maybe one beaver is enough for it. Maybe. You're out of 13 kilograms. Oh, it's based on the weight of the items. See. Are these full? Oh my god, they are full. Okay, I guess I really do need to build this warehouse, huh? Okay. I wonder how far I can zoom in. Hello, beavers. Oh my god! Just clipping into them. This building isn't connected to any district center by pass. What are you talking about? There we go. Okay. How high can I stack things? I'm actually kind of curious now. <laughs> Imagine if you just stack things like sky high. Ah yes, the carrots are going in. Nice. Okay. I have so much food now, but they're all berries because reasons. Hard at work, aren't you? Where's the... Oh, why are they not chopping these trees down? Hello? Only three people watching really is YouTube drunk. Um, I think... I think YouTube has changed... Well, first of all, I'm playing a very unpopular game, so I'm not surprised if there aren't a lot of people actively watching me right now. Uh, Like, I knew when I started playing this when I've um, queued up this game, that there would not be a lot of people who wanted to watch it. But the other thing is, I think YouTube, maybe about a month or a month and a half ago, might have changed their algorithm a little bit. It used to count people who had, who have the stream on in like the background, right? But now I think it has something like where it doesn't count people who have it on in the background. Because I'm sure there's more than three people like who have this game just like on in the background to some degree. Maybe on um, maybe it's like problem with mobile, possibly. Um, and the reason I say that is because I know some other street YouTube streamers who have also been having like their view counts have been like a lot lower than before, despite not changing their content. Or maybe there's just no one watching. That could also that could also be it. Oh, Yana has died of old age. Oh, right. Of course they die of old age. But yeah, it's partially about the game as well. Ah, we found the three people who are watching. Jesse, Davi, and Mark II. <laughs> hmm. He's just rubbing the ground and then just Zaplin just appears. <laughs> Why does this guy take so long to chop down these trees? We got three people, I can count. I can barely count to three, guys. I can barely count to three. Wait, these are both full already? What? Hmm. 
Maybe there really are only three people watching. Is that a problem? Eh, maybe. Maybe not. Who knows? I mean, like... It really is just game choice, but... At the end of the day, I don't want to only stream things that... Like... I don't only want- I don't want to only stream things that get viewers. Although, like, that's not a bad thing, but... At the end of the day, that's not necessarily the reason I am streaming. How are both of these already full? Hello? I guess I just have to keep stacking this shit up, huh? Wait, 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 wait. Why? Is there really no way to build a stair on top of another existing stair? Like, how do I make a spiral staircase here if I can't build another thing on top of this there? Maybe one of the other things allow me to build on top of it later? But, like, there's no way to build on top of it, so... I'm not speaking to pass over gaps. Maybe I have to, like, literally build a freaking suspension bridge over it or something? But no, but then that means every single time I want to build a stair, I have to find a new spot to... Mm. I don't get it. How are you supposed to build a spiral staircase then? If you can't... There has to be a way to build a spiral staircase, right? Hmm? A raised platform which can act as a bridge or a foundation double- What does it mean by double though? Does it mean it's raised up by two levels? Is that how it works? I want to spend my science points on this. Ah, I see. You have to use a double platform. Okay. Ah, okay. I see. Now that's how you make a spiral staircase then. All right, I understand. I understand. Oh wait, that means these don't even need to be single. They can just be double. Then this one doesn't even need to be here. And I can just make a double here. Here. And then one here. And this here. And then that means I can build another storage right here. On top like that. Yes. Nice. Spiral staircase. Ikuzo. This game isn't bad though. My expectations about it were pretty low, but it turns out to be pretty good. You mean from watching me play or like have you gotten the game yourself? I'm just happy to find something that I saw growing from the beginning, like your stream, for example, even though I didn't have so much pressure to talk in the start. Me trying to parse that sentence right now. I think what you mean is you're f you're happy to find that my channel is growing. You mean? Yeah, I actually really do appreciate it when people chat in my in my streams though. So thank you for always chatting, Davi. <laughs> it makes me very happy. What? I have so much wood now, huh? Hello. My food. Seems to be doing okay. These sets of berry bushes over here are, are... They are doing work. What the heck? Okay. My storage is constantly full. Dykes game, I guess. Uh, I have three levels of storage and they're just all filled with berries. Please, I don't want berries. The berries are bad nutrition. I'm literally going to turn one of these off just to stop the berries. <laughs> stop the berries from filling up all my inventory. Oh my god. It seems that one lumberjack here is 
Ready. Oh, the next drought is coming and it's still, it's only three days. Okay. Is it always only three days? This does say temperate weather, so it makes me feel like maybe the weather will get worse in the future. Maybe. Building lacks power. Why? Why is this stop spinning? Am I really pumping up so much water from behind it that it stops spinning? Whoa, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's actually... Water physics, not JPEG. How far can this reach again? I wonder if I can plant trees back there. Let me try putting that down. Try doing that and see if I can plant this back here. Oh, you're th so you like the you like the fact that you were here from the start. Okay, yeah. I always have this problem about being frustrated by the fact that I'm joining a group game or whatever that started a long time ago. I mean, there's nothing wrong with joining something that's already been around for a long time, especially if it's been around for a long time. That just means there's a lot like they've already developed like a very rich culture. Right. I always ask myself, like, why didn't I get into this sooner? I do agree that some things do feel better to grow up with the thing. But at the same time, you shouldn't let yourself be stopped from wanting to get into something because it's already been around for a long time. Because you might miss out on, like, some good stuff that way. Like, as an, as an example, Final Fantasy XIV right now is more popular than ever, despite the fact that it's been around for, um, holy shit, like, eight, seven to eight years already? It's a base game and then three expansion packs, so it's been around for over eight years. And despite that, it is currently having, like, the biggest boom in growth that that game has ever experienced. The reason for that is partially because of World of Warcraft, um, well, they kind of fucked themselves in some ways, and also because, like, a popular Final Fantasy streamer, sorry, a popular World of Warcraft streamer started streaming Final Fantasy, and because of that, um, Final Fantasy had a huge boom in popularity recently. But, like, all these new players, like, it's got so much more popular that it, like, maybe tripled, doubled or tripled in popularity. And all these new players are coming into, like, a game with eight years of content developed, but that's not stopping them from enjoying it. And because there's already that much content, that just means you have more stuff to explore. Probably, I just like the feeling of seeing something grow and being able to be there with it. Yeah. Yeah, I can agree with that. Being there with the growth of something definitely is a good feeling. That's part of the reason... Part of the reason I like the VTuber group Prism Project so much is because I feel like I'm with their... I feel like I'm with them there at the current moment of them growing a lot. That's part of the reason I like um, Prison Project so much. Okay, let's see here. I don't know why, but I seem to need so many storehouses. So let's just make this giant ass tower of storehouses because it's funny. How high can I build this? Oh my god. I really want another science bee- Oh, whoa, I have 22 beavers now. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Wait, I have 22 beavers. I have so many more I can work with. My food is seemingly still doing fine, so I'll just... If it's not fine, I can always just load back a few auto saves, so that will be fine. I think I can delete these two because this one beaver seems to be able to keep up. I can put a few more on this. Are you winning? I seem to be winning right now. I'm in a pretty good situation. 
currently. Like everything is just growing very well and I'm pretty stable during droughts because of this dam. So yeah, I'd say I am winning. I would say I'm winning for sure. Then I can keep planting. Ooh. Ooh. I wish I could have been doing more or TSR, for example. There's some people who knew more before the release. I'm gonna be honest, I am not sure if I would have enjoyed a more Oh, the drought started. It's four days long this time? Interesting. I am not sure if I would have liked Amori so much if I had been there from the beginning. Because it, it was in development for, what, seven years? Like, oh my god. And like, expectations. The expectations of like, what Amori would turn out to be like. I have definitely been there before. Where I ex where I was like, waiting for something for a super long time. Kong Panwa, Waiatao. Um, Final Fantasy XV is an example of a game that I waited for, for like half a decade, or even more, and then in the end my expectations were just too high for the game and they were not met. My expectations for Final Fantasy XV were not met at all. I took days off from work for that, man. I took days off from work for that and it was not worth it. And like, that is the main danger you face with being with something from the very beginning is that you don't know if that thing's actually going to turn out to be good. Like Amori did turn out to be good, but it changed so much from what the game looked like it would be about in the beginning. And there were like a lot of times, I've read that there were a lot of times when like the community was just like, is this game dead? Because like the devs is not posting anything for like a year or more. So like, you have to deal with that kind of stuff for something like Amori. And then for like Arkea, I guess Arkea you could have started from the beginning and just watched it get better and better. That is true. Arkea might have been a good game to like, be with since the beginning. But there were definitely a lot of rough moments for us in regards to like charting and stuff. <laughs> and I think there is nothing wrong with getting into Arkea right now either like getting into arcade later you come into this really well polished rhythm game with like what 100 wait how many songs does arcade have 15 or sorry 150 200 i don't even remember but like now you come into arcade it has a shit ton of or not really a shit ton but it has a lot of songs and like every single piece of content is very unique you don't have to wait like okay i guess you do have to wait but Look, back in the day we had like 15 songs and you didn't know if Arkea was ever going to get more content. That's what you had to deal with when you were there at the begin very beginning. And then eventually you'd get like, what, like 5 songs every 2 months because we were just not able to pump out content as fast. Like there's definitely, you have to like suffer with us if you're there from the beginning. Haha, <laughs> Toaster actually brought, bought Final Fantasy 15. You know I bought FF15 Plata. I took a day off from work, and then, or not a day, but like a few days off, and then I binged it, and I was like, eh. and I got to the ending, and I was just like, what? What? Uh, what? Yeah, Final Fantasy 15, not a good time. I didn't realize that these two farmhouses could handle so many plots. I don't know how many of you guys have played Final Fantasy XV, but man, I guess it still has like its small little fan base nowadays. But I personally did not like it. It did not live up to my expectations, and it definitely. I think like the ten-year-long cycle, that dev cycle that it went through, really made my expectations of it too high. So I've I've since then learned not to have too high expectations of anything but it still happens it just like happens if you if you aren't careful so you always have to be careful about those kind of things like even recently i can give an example of expectations on something being too high you know uh there's this one thing that starts with an e and uh, wait what the, how do i if i want to build under this how the heck would i do it uh -huh. Is there an option for that? Hold on. 
change max visibility level alt okay yes this is definitely something that i would be surprised if the game did not have this yeah okay okay oh my god man there's no change max visibility level i'd be like what is this game high on <laughs> how much how much does it cost to make a house Mini launch. It's a single beaver, just in case you want that. A bigger launch that fits more beavers. Oh yeah, plant those trees. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is going to staircase my way up this thing and build my houses up here instead. Then I can reclaim this arable land for more farming. Oh man, I should have built these storehouses, this stack of storehouses over here instead too, huh? I can just move them over. I feel like I have a good amount of wood now. Yeah, my wood income is probably going to spike the moment these guys finish growing. You describe my opinion about the last garden. Oh, you mean the, a game called The Last Guardian? Hold on. 82% medic. Oh yeah, I, I've heard of that game before. I didn't know The Last Guardian had, was a game that had been hyped up for a long time though. I've like heard that it was a good game though, so maybe it's only people who had like the hype overhyped the game, the game overhyped for them that think it's bad, I don't know. But yeah, overhyping is like, or not overhyping, but just like accidentally getting yourself too hyped up about something is something to watch out for, I think. Maybe? I don't know. It's hard to say. Have I had any games that I ex expected for a long time and then they did turn out to be good? Yeah, every Final Fantasy expansion, to be honest. <laughs> Killshot was in development for more than 10 years? My god, oh my god. That's like the same as Final Fantasy XV. Like, it used to be like called like Final Fantasy XIV Versus or some shit, and then eventually they changed it to Final Fantasy XV. But like, yeah, FF15 was also in development for god knows how long, and, and then it just wasn't, it didn't live up to its hype. I think like, if it's something that's in development for that long, then that means something is going wrong internally, and that is like a big wording sign. But then again, Amori was also in development for seven years and it ended up fine. Actually, no, I can't say that's true. There might be people who have been following Amori's development for all seven of the years and then like didn't like it in the end because of what it turned out to be. But you know, I don't suffer from that because I did not follow the game from the beginning. I only knew about Amori Amori, like, a few months ago, is going to be released for PS3 then got reworked into PS4. Sounds just like Final Fantasy 15. <laughs> exactly the same thing that happened to FF15. How the heck do I chop down these trees again? Right, Lumberjack flag. Yes. Let's build a bunch of those. Then, what, mark trees? Cut trees? Yeah. That's not the right place. Okay. Okay. Is this one lumberjack not able to keep up with that? Well, whatever, it's fine. That's not the main place I care about the trees, it's these guys I care about. 51%, so I can have like a double? Oh, I can plant a lot of trees here, wow. Wait, how far does this reach? Oh my god, wait, this lumberjack flag doesn't reach far enough. I didn't realize that. Uh... Wait, where do I need to put this in order for it to reach everything? Maybe like over here or something? FF16? What is FF16? Oh, right, I remember. <laughs> yes, there is an FF16. 
Yeah, after what happened with FF15, I don't even want to think about FF16. But actually, um, FF16 is being developed by FF14's dev team, and I really think FF14 did things well. So I believe in Yoshi P. I believe in Yoshi P. But at the same time, I'm also keeping my expectations low for it because their main, his team's main game is still Final Fantasy XIV. So. I don't want FF14's development to be affected by FF16's development, so I really hope that they choose to do the right thing in regards to that, but I, I don't have control over that, so it's really just going to be... It will be what it is, and I'll just have to deal with whatever comes out of that. I cut the wrong thing down. <laughs> I think I do have to put this lumberjack flag right there in order to cover all the way to the back of where this thing covers. Uh, that's a bit annoying. I spent about one hour traveling to their job. Hmm, I mean, that's fine, I guess. I just dreamed that someday a movie with the Advent Children style will be released. That was the peak of Final Fantasy. Yeah, no, those movies were pretty cool. If not a bit confusing, not not just a bit, but if not extremely confusing for anyone who wasn't completely into Final Fantasy. To be honest, Advent Children, like if you don't know anything about FF4 7, or if you know, even if you know like some things about FF7 but haven't gone through like the whole series, you just watch it and just be like, yep, I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> Like, 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 it's it's like post Final Fantasy VII in terms of the plot, right? It's just like, yeah, I know that guy. He's Sephiroth. Why is he back? I have no idea. What's Cloud doing? I have no idea. <laughs> I really had no idea what was going on in that movie either because I did not follow the plot very, or I only played Final Fantasy VII. I never played through any of this, played or read any supplemental material. So I was just confused the whole time, but it looked cool. It definitely looked really cool. Well, I guess it had that going, right? <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it is. That was the main problem with that movie. It looked really cool for sure, though. Hmm, my food stores seem to be overflowing for some reason. The only problem is that they made Cloud turn into a complete sad boy. <laughs> mm, wasn't he always like that? Even in FF7 Remake, he kind of acts like that, to be honest. Why is the water here not... Oh, right, because... Oh, you know what? I should build a dam up here, too. That means I'll have another whole segment of this river's water to last me through the droughts. That would be pretty cool. Okay, let me see if I can build a dam up here. Can I reach this far? Maybe if I build a road down, it should... Right? Does the district reach this far? Oh my god, it does! It does reach this far! Okay. Alright. Build another level of dam up here. What happens if I build this one higher? Oh my god, would it actually just flood this whole area? That'd be pretty cool. It would flood the whole area, wouldn't it? Because that's how this game works. Well, whatever. I'll preemptively build a dam up there because... I mean, I'm not running out of water right now, but just in case. It's not like I have anything else to do with my 400 wood! And I need to... Finish chopping down this area as well. Oh, I don't have another beaver for that one. Can I... These two are both disabled already. Yeah, I think things are going pretty well right now. Why does this store over 20, though? If I overproduce, does it just forcibly move it into the warehouses, even though the warehouses have a limit on them?
because that's really annoying if you have no way of preventing a warehouse from going over over um the desired amount and they just get filled up with whatever renewable resource they're making the most of which in this case right now is all this food oh you know what i can do i can uncheck berries on these i think that should stop them from being stored too much explosives come on you need explosives to dig out the dig out the land <laughs> It's okay, in this world, nothing blows up or catches on fire unless the beavers will it. So it should be fine, right? Uh, maybe I should... <sighs> I'm starting to think maybe I should move all my food storage somewhere else, but at least I'm not going to overstock on berries now, right? <laughs> um... You know what? Hold on. Let me. I will set some of these to only particular types of food. Bread, carrots, and grilled potatoes. Right. And also potatoes and wheat. No, 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 no. I don't want potatoes and wheat. Yeah, it's not like you're going to get into wars and coffee barrows. That'd be pretty funny. But no, the explosives, from what I read in one of the item tooltips, is you use it to blow up walls. So you can, like, break land, basically. I guess there's no way to build land in this game. Red carrots and grilled potatoes. And berries. And then these top two levels will be everything but food. Oh my god, that sorting order is so annoying. I wish there was like... Actually, you know what? Only the top one will be not food. And then the bottom three can all be food. Because the not food things are not important for survival, so it's fine to leave them less storage. Yeah, wheat, potatoes, no potatoes, flour. The fact that this isn't sorted by category is kind of annoying. It's alphabetically sorted, but not categorically sorted. Unfortunate. This guy actually does cover all of this. This does not. Let me delete that for now. And this dam is slowly under construction. Go, beavers, go! <laughs> I have three workers, I don't need three. Let me do that instead. Oh wait, I don't have enough beavers for that. Eh, well, whatever. Slowly, I will have more science. Oh wait, I don't need these anymore. This one's already empty. Okay. One more hole over here. Let me take a look at all this fancy housing. Triple Lodge. Double Lodge. Alright, let's unlock the Double Lodge and see how big this is. Oh, it's just... <laughs> it's just a taller version. It's 2x2, two two, but it's taller. Okay. Okay, I see. Onpanwa Taraki. 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 It's always funny seeing how many people there are in my chat with, like, Arkea profile pictures, to be honest. <laughs> it's so funny seeing people saying on Twitter that Gauzo is older than them. This is literally what I have been reading, like, for the past... How many hours has it been since we posted that? Five and a half? Like, the past five and a half hours have of me like literally on any social media is just reading people go like wow Genkauzo is older than me and I'm just like you people are children wait are you the same guy that works for a lawyer how did you find my <laughs> Taraki <laughs> my assumption my assumption about every single person that watches me is that they only watch me because I'm 
I'm the toaster from Arkea. So I actually find it super funny that you've somehow managed to find my channel not through my Twitter account or like someone posting about, whoa, toaster is streaming in like official Discord. <laughs> Wait, if these double launches only need a stair every two levels, oh, let me see if I can design a nice spiral staircase that goes two levels here. <laughs> Lol, I'm dying, Lamel. Don't worry, I'm dying a little bit right now too. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I think I can make a double staircase. If I do something like this. Then rotate this one like that. Yeah, okay. So that would bring my spell staircase up to this set of houses up here. Nice. This icon looks so funny. You know, I always find it really funny how many people... Or not how many, but like this is not the first time that I've had someone go like... Wait, are you... Wait, you're you're the toaster from Arkea. The toaster from Arkea, not just not just a random guy named Toaster, but you're the toaster from Arkea. I'm just like, there are other people named Toaster. There are other people on social media that are like well known named Toaster, because there aren't. At least from what I know, the only like well-known people named toaster on social well there's probably maybe like one or two but not people that people in the rhythm game industry would know there's like no like other famous rhythm game not famous i'm not famous there's no other like even slightly well-known rhythm gamer named toaster i think right right i'm, I'm not wrong right it always surprises me when people are surprised that i'm like the toaster. <laughs> hmm. Wait, which one of these is full? One on top? Because they're not taking the food out of it. Wonderful. Like, I know there's a lot of, like, there's a lot of, like, bread themed or toast themed, um, content creators out there like like what what's what's disguised toast for example who's really famous and there's like a lot of other people with like who are like themed after toast or bread but i don't know a single person who's like toaster themed like toaster themed oh my god i'm full on wood holy shit i don't know a single person at least in rhythm gaming who's toaster themed so, like, I'm always surprised when people are like, wait, you're the toaster as opposed to just, like... Yeah. I don't know why, but, like, toast or bread, especially toast, the word toast, or, like, toast-themed, is, like, a really popular, like, name for people to use. Is something related to toast. Uh, bread is also fairly popular, but not as popular as toast. Like... In this, this is, I don't know why I'm talking about Prison Project, but in Prison Project, um, there's like two people, two regular viewers in the channels of the talents that I view who have the word Toaster in their name, and I constantly get made fun of like, hey Toaster, is this guy named Toaster Child? And just like, Toast is not the, ch the child of a Toaster. Toast is the vomit and slash or excrement of a Toaster. Why are you guys not building these stairs? It's not out of range, is it? Guys? What are you building? Oh, you're building that, of course. Right. No, never mind. That's a good thing to be building. Maybe if I have four builders instead, this will go faster. Oh, man, they take so long to get there. Unfortunately, my nickname also isn't used a lot. Wait, your nickname is not Davi, is it? That sounds like your real name. Unless you just you're just like one of those people who, for some reason, have their real name as their YouTube name. 
which is definitely something that I see sometimes. Kinky. Wait, what? <laughs> what did I just say? That? What, the thing about toast being pink toaster vomit? How's that kinky? <laughs> Toaster has a seizure, part 10. Peste Burka. I see. Well, too bad I'm just calling you Davi now. Why did the wire just do that? Huh? Why did that green land just... Why, why is it doing that? It's like turning green sometimes, but then stops turning green at other times. Eh, it's probably because of... Probably because of just the water physics fucking around. Unconnected building. Yeah, I know. Lax workers. Didn't I turn this off? Well, whatever. Delete that. And let me delete some of these as well. Yeah, I know you're not the only person who, like, started using YouTube chat un accidentally under their real name. I, n I know of a few other people who have done that before. And then... And then they'd, like, have to, like, re... They'd have to, like, tell, like, every single person they watch, like, sorry, I just I just changed my, my handle from... from... from my real name to, like, my actual handle. Majority of people just call me Burks or something. Generally what I see on... Generally what I see on, um... On chats for streamers is that they'll just... The streamer will just call the person by their name that's written in the chat window, unfortunately. So, I'm still gonna call you Davi until you change your name. Because <laughs> otherwise it's too confusing for viewers who, like, don't know everyone's nicknames. Okay, let me put down those two flags again. Or maybe not. I'll just put down the flags as I need them. Meanwhile, I just use Jesse. Is that your real name? <laughs> Jesse sounds like something that could both be a real name and a nickname. Like, I know people who are not named Jesse who call them who prefer to be called Jesse for some reason or another. I wonder if I put this water bottle in the middle of the water using platforms to regenerate power more consistently. Hmm. That's something to think about. Whenever these things are pumping, it just stops making. It's okay. I have. Never mind. I don't have any planks at all. What the heck? What the heck? Can I use a dam to reach this out further into the water? Ooh, I should try that. The trees are finally growing. It's watered and alive. Sunny, look. These trees are all growing and beautiful. My YouTube account is linked with my college meeting. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> that is a very reasonable reason. Oh shit, I need to build some paths. The fact that I have to build paths even on these platforms is pretty funny to me, but whatever. Ah, yes, now I have so much- what the? 36 now? Oh god, that's maybe too much. I'm not sure if I have enough food to- never mind, I have so many berries, never mind. And I should not be running out of water either. So that will be good. Am I... Am I being soft? Am I being bottlenecked by planks? Oh yeah, this guy can... Wait, how did I... Oh, their range is determined by the spot right in front. Right, so that's why these two have the same range. Interesting. Okay, hold on. Let me mark more area for planting here first. Da -da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. How far does this go? Is there a goal to this game or is it just... Oh, right. You said something about The Witness earlier, didn't you? Yeah, I did play The Witness. That was a very fun game. It was very nice. Is there a goal to this game for just like Minecraft? To a certain degree, you can say it is just like Minecraft. City builders are 
Yeah, it's like Minecraft, you can you just build stuff. I think to a certain degree, like you do have to, you do have to um provide for the beavers or else you like starve to death and stuff. But it's mostly just you know how big can you build your city? How big can you build? Your nice city of beavers. It was actually really hard in the beginning because I like ran out of water and then everyone just dehydrated and then I ran out of food and every or almost ran out of food and everyone almost starved to death. But apart from like you, you have to you know feed them, give them something to drink, and then there's a lot of extra stuff that you can give them to make them work better, for example. Speaking of which, I actually need to start thinking about how to fulfill the other requirements as well. Holy forgot about that. Call on city builders, dominate the world. Yeah, I have I have all this map to build on. Oh yeah, there's some like metal stuff here that I can get later too. And this is still a game that's only an alpha or early access, but I feel like it is pretty well developed for an early access game actually. What do you mean storage is full? Full of what? It's still full of berries even though I've been emptying it into- Oh right, because other levels are all empty as well. Well, whatever. <sighs> full houses. Oh. Alright, these things be- I want to start clearing out this area and replacing it with houses up here. Let me see here. This terrace house is actually kind of nice looking, to be honest. So far, I'm having quite a bit of fun with this game. I do feel that it is fairly well balanced. Or, like, it's not obviously imbalanced in any ways yet. So, that's a very big plus for me. Like... Other games in this genre do sometimes have certain sneaky things about them that make them imbalanced in ways that you wouldn't think of. But this one is not like that. Yet. Yeah, these farms really are being well taken care of, aren't they? Okay, let me move this fireplace upstairs. Uh, what was that under? Leisure? Oh wait, there's- you can make rooftop terraces? Oh wow, these look nice. They do look nice. Okay, but let me put a campfire here. Alright, this should be a good spot, right? Actually, let me take a look at this other stuff first. Hmm, Sassafras aesthetics within one tile. <laughs> you need to research how to plant a goddamn shrub, please. Alright, it's only cost 20 cents and I probably have a lot of it now. I still wonder for how long this satisfies the aesthetics need. Does it- what is the vertical range on this too? It seems like the vertical range on it is infinite. Hmm? Hmm, hold on. Let me put those two sh Oh wait, they can't reach that. Okay, let me build some platforms up here too. Then like that. And da, 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 da. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> I don't need this stair. Uh, not a double platform. Let me put single platforms here. Oh no, I can't make my spiral... No, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god. The controls in this game are a little more clunky than I'd like them to be though. It's kind of annoying, but whatever.
All right, let's try this. That way I can still keep spiraling up. Wait, hold on. Just remember to say, if you don't want to risk playing Journey on stream... No, wait, that's not... I never... Wait, risk? I never said anything about risk. Me not wanting to play Journey on... Wait. When did I ever say something about risking... Risking what? Wait, can I build a... <laughs> no, I don't... I was... I have like this grand plan inside my head of what I wanted to build up there, but I decided it wasn't a good idea. I wanted to like build rooftop terraces and shit, but then I was just like, never mind. I might actually play Journey on stream some other day. Must be placed atop other buildings, but does that count? Journey could have audio pro- Oh no, I- No, it's not- What is it? What they- What people said were like, The audio is not 100% accurate to how it was in the original PS version, but I don't think that's actually like a huge problem. So, I might schedule Journey for some time in the future. Yeah. 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 I think those are just people- people- people being pen- 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 pedantic. Oh my god, that took me too many tries to say the word pedantic. But yeah, I think that's just people being pedantic, so like, it should be fine. Where is the shrub again? Oh, here it is. No. Can I not build the shrub underneath something? During this beautiful game worth a play. Yeah, I will. I will. Uh, this shrub takes 12 locks to build. You know what else takes 12 locks to build? This house. This house takes as much wood to build as this freaking shrub, guys. Like, hello? Alright, so how long is your awe for your aesthetics? Is for okay, so it charges up their aesthetics as long as they're nearby it. But well, putting some near the houses will charge up their aesthetics as they're out of the way from sleeping and going to work. Understood. I should just put them here and there then. That is good to know. And to get all required materials. What? Oh, right, because... Oh my god. Okay, you know what? Let me make more lumber mills. <laughs> Can I build a platform here? Can act as a bridge. Okay, so the water will still flow. You need a plant house to plant the shrub, so it makes sense if you think about it. No, it doesn't. Why does this one shrub needier than a family of three beavers? This one shrub needs as much furniture as three beavers? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Those are some needy shrubs if you ask me. Can I increase the priority for these guys? Thank you. Oh my god, these platforms take planks. I didn't realize. Or, well, I mean, I did realize, but I wasn't really paying much attention to it. <laughs> Don't think too much about it. It's because these shrubs have the magical power of making... Like, you, you see this shrub? Isn't that just so... Aesthetic? You know, we have this whole amazing... We have this beautiful field. We have all these trees and spinny roof buildings. But you know, those aren't aesthetic. You know what's really aesthetic? You know what will really increase that aesthetic? Aesthetic gauge? Rob. Wait, what does aesthetic do anyways? Working speed plus 10? Okay.
Let's see what else I can unlock here. Temple. Spirituality. 300 science. Let's do it. Oh, wow. This is expensive. What the heck? What is this a temple to? Oh, my God. <laughs> Look how fancy that looks. What are these beavers worshipping? Oh, my God. Interesting. Well, I'll build that later. I need to increase my output of stuff here first. Ugh. Not gonna lie, these water pumps interfering with the flow here is actually kind of annoying. Maybe... Maybe it is time I move the water storage somewhere else. Was this just a bad place for me to build this in the first place? Because it's not even spinning right now. Oh, because of the way this dam blocks the water, the flow of the water over here is being impacted. Interesting. So maybe I shouldn't have built the dam this way then. I should have built the dam also... Hmm? Hmm? It's not spinning at all! I can't build platforms if it's not spinning. Most aesthetic shrine. Why did it only suddenly start to have that problem right now and not earlier? Water flows around and then just doesn't. Maybe I can build a... Why do platforms need planks to be built, please? Man, I didn't know I needed a PhD in fluid physics to work play this game. Okay, uh, okay. Let me... I guess I can platform out there using... Dams, but that's so expensive. Except for the part where I have two billion wood. Yeah, never mind. Interesting. Okay. Okay. I need to. No, wait! Beavers can work in water, I forgot about that. Wait, 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 wait. Can I just build a water? Construction for site is too far from builders. Our connection is blocked. <laughs> the beavers can build a No, 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 they can. It's just that I don't have... I don't have power to power the platform or power the lumber mill. The shrub also did cost um, cost me planks, I think. But for some reason, it didn't decide to start fucking up with the power until now. Even though it was working perfectly fine earlier. But now these dams are just like... Mm, nope. <sighs> Maybe I actually do need to stop these for now. Yeah, it definitely is because of the way these dams are blocking the water. You know, I probably will just have to rebuild those dams later. Let me put this water wheel back for now. 
And then just get rid of these dams so the water flows better. Is that helping? I can't tell. The water still isn't flowing over to over here. understand why this wasn't happening until now. Maybe if I built some dams on this side... <laughs> Wait, this might actually work. If I build some dams over here... If I build some dams over here, then it might cause the water flow to be forced to go this way, and then that will spin the water wheel? Maybe? <laughs> if this works, I'll be... Very happy. Ooh, it is working. But only a little bit. It worked for like two seconds. Oh ho. So the dams do impact water flow a little bit in weird ways that I do- Oh my god, and now that the drought started, now there's just not going to be any water. Oh no. Oh god, I almost made a huge mistake. Because I didn't have the water pumps running for so long, everyone started becoming thirsty. That would have been really bad. <laughs> Imagine if everyone died of dehydration again. I don't know what's going on here, but this thing is still spinning because of the water moving at one inch per second to the left. Nice. Okay, some of them are still a little thirsty, but I think they should survive until the... Um... Will they survive until the next day? Please. Please, nobody die. Nobody die from thirst. We're working as hard as we can. I'm, look, I'm just staring at the log over here. You built a beautiful shrub, but at what cost? That is exactly how I'm feeling right now, guys. <laughs> I swear to god, if anyone dies of thirst, I will actually just be like, why? Why was this the cost? Okay, I think I think actually doing this dam thing might work out. But let me try just building more dams. See how this works out. If I put dams like this, it might just cause the water flow to go like that, huh? Oh no, they're all thirsty again. Please. That's because I stopped pumping water for two days. I know these pumps are capable of I know these pumps are capable of sustaining this whole colony. Because they've been sustaining the colony for a very long time. They hydrated. They, they are not staying hydrated. They are not staying hydrated. I did not stay hydrated because I was dumb and turned off the hydration buttons. I turned off the hydration factories and they were not able to stay hydrated. My hubris. This is what my hubris has done. Uh, 
Okay, the water is going back. The water is going back up, so that's good. The trout is almost over. So we should be able to get back to working on this. I'm making planks. Uh... Oh, I have so many workers now. I didn't realize all of them grew up. 30 out of 36? Oh. I have more beavers. I have more beavers to satisfy. Fuck. Hmm. Maybe I should make, like, my water pumping station be over here instead? Can I fit it here? These roads are kind of in the way, so maybe not. Or maybe yes. Well, only one way to find out. Where's that thing that lets me have more builders again? Hmm? High power shaft transfers power. Oh, right, it goes up. I have 800 science. That's a lot of science. God, these monuments cost so much science. 1,000? Are you kidding me? That's a lot. These guys are... How are you hungry? There is 800 food. I guess they're just not taking care of themselves. Beavers, please, self-care. If you're hungry, always eat before going to work. It's important to keep... It's important to eat before working. <laughs> okay, the water's back. I kind of want to move all the water stuff to over here, to be honest. So I think I'm going to do that. After I get all this wood stuff set up. Oh my god. They're working hard. Oh no, wait, all this area is dead land because... Okay. And would you look at that? The water wheel's spinning now. Oh, did it! What is happening? Why is it flooding? What? what? Holy shit. I'm glad the flood doesn't destroy stuff, but that was... Well, of course it doesn't destroy- They're beavers! Beavers built everything to survive underwater. <laughs> but, um... That was surprising. Why did it do that all of a sudden? Did the initial, the initial burst of water from the drought ending sent a huge shock through the system, I guess. That must have been what happened. That was surprising. <laughs> huh, my cooked food seemed to be going down, maybe? Hmm. Okay, I have two lumber mills now, nice. That was pretty cool, the flood. To be honest, it was pretty cool, but also scary. I thought it was going to like destroy all my shit, but it didn't, so... Imagine having 500 berries. Why is this one set of berries bushes just like infinitely providing for everyone? Oh, they're all. Oh, that's because their nutrition bars are already full, so they're not even bothering with the unnutritious. With the nutritious. Yes? Hmm? Wait. Let me check one of the beavers who are. Hard at work. 
Wow, their aesthetics survived through the whole day just from this one shrub. <laughs> you know why I put this shrub here? I put this shrub here specifically because every single beaver in my colony, or almost every single one, needs to pass up through that area in order to uh, make it through their homes. Speaking of which, I should expand this a little bit. Let me build a few more platforms out. Um, here and here. And then build more double houses. Yeah. So now that everyone lives here, they will all be forced to pass by this single lone shrub on their way to work every single day and this one shrub will just it'll just inspire you see how they all just went past that but, but they all ran past it and their aesthetics just went up they're just like oh this one shrub in our village this one shrub in our beautiful town has just inspired me to work 10 percent faster oh And that's why this shrub costs 12 wood. <laughs> uh, the world's most OP shrub. I should build a second one right next to it and see if that helps with multiplying the effect. Because when they go up this platform, they'll look at the other shrub and just be like, Oh, shrub. Oh, shrub, coon. <laughs> oh, God, man, what are they doing? Oh right, they're building these platforms. Inspirational, I know, right? I wish if only if only every person on this planet had access to a shrub, then everyone in the world could know aesthetics. What we should be doing is we should, as a nation, we should be we should be airdropping shrubs to impoverished nations and it will definitely make them work a thousand percent harder <laughs> that godly inspiring shrub made me tear down a tree with my teeth 10.5 percent faster yeah i know right <laughs> what i have 37 huh where do I have one homeless from? Hello? Why? All right, now we've got three plank things going. So we should not hope we should hopefully not be bottlenecked on planks as much as before. It's a reminder from our god that god always loved <laughs> Are any of you guys religious? I'm not religious, but it's just- it's just a question. Okay, let's see here. Hmm. Watching them spiral up and down these staircases is so funny. I don't know if you guys noticed, but social life effects of social life fertility plus fifty percent. <laughs> uh. Wait. Why do you not have comfort? Oh, you're the one homeless person? Please. I just think that no matter what I believe, that won't change the course of anything, so I'm pretty whatever on what I believe. Okay, I see. Alright. Okay, and then let me put these paths here. 
Oh wait, that was a trick question. The real answer to that question is yes, you're all apostles of the god of toaster. Come on. <laughs> They're speaking the language of the gods right now. Oh, building these roofs also adds a step. Wait, what? Why does it have a longer range effect when it's on the... Oh no, it's because it's showing the range of all the existing ones. Okay. Okay. Apostles of the shrub? Yeah, never mind. Sorry. We're all religious to that, to this one shrub. Soon to be two shrubs in order to double the effect of the aesthetic. They're all maxed out on aesthetics because of those damn shrubs. It's so amazing. Okay, I regret saying that this game is not unbalanced. Um, it might be a little unbalanced. <laughs> The shrubs. The shrubs are Imba. The gosh darn shrubs are too Imba. I'm actually starting to burn through my wood a lot. 54 planks. Oh, that's just because they all had a big plank. Plankin spree there. Okay, I said I just want to move the water pump, so let me do that next. Uh huh. Okay, I can probably put a lot of pumps here, can't I? Yeah, that would be nice. And then let me take a look at. All hail the great shrub. It is thanks to the great shrub that we are all able to live a beautiful life. I'm gonna have to be pretty careful about where I put the temple because it's very expensive. What if I build a road down here? Can I do that? Oh, I can. Nice. Then two here. Two here. Hmm. All hail. All hail the menacing shrub. <laughs> two here, two here. And another house there. Yeah, how about no? I'll build the road this way instead. Wait, there's this... Uh, huh? <laughs> there's a slope right there. Huh? What? Where'd that come from? Whoever put it here, beavers are grateful. <laughs> yeah, welcome to this world where everything's just cubicle... Where everything's just these cubicle ledges, except for like one random... One random slope in the middle of nowhere. These slopes are godsend. Okay. Konpanwa Akin Osi. Hello. Hi, Toss. Who's Toss? My name's Toaster, not Toss. What are you talking about? Toast. Oh, man. How do we delete these roads again? Right, like this. Wait a minute. Did I build like a row of shrubs? Okay, why did that delete the... That deleted the platforms. That deleted the platforms when I dragged it, but it didn't delete them when I click on it one by one. Well, that's good to know because now all the houses are unconnected. Oh, great. I need to prioritize building these platforms back. Holy shit. Otherwise, everyone's going to be living out on the floor the next day. Just not good at all. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay, very high priority. Thanks. Guys, please... Rebuilt the platform so I deleted on accident. So I was thinking, could I build like a row of shrubs on the bottom floor? Oh no, I can't because there's a platform in the way. Okay, never mind. That would have been really funny though. <laughs> row of shrubs underneath the walkway, and you're just like walking along going like, oh the shrubs. Oh, they're so beautiful. <laughs> I like every chart in Archaea Future 9. Why, thank you. But have you considered Drop Dead Future... No, wait, that's not a 9. <laughs> Shit. 
me trying to think of a shitty nine right now. <laughs> there has to be at least one heavenly caress. I don't know. Is heavenly caress a nine? I don't even remember. Or is it a nine plus? This is the part where you go up a toaster. I thought you made all these charts. How could you not know? Well, let me tell you, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I think this one wood choppy dude is not enough to keep up with all of these. <laughs> maybe I should, or not? Not maybe. I I need to um build more lumberjack flags over here. Okay, how about I? How about I delete these two and replace them with lumberjack flags? And then, oh right, I need to move these guys over, huh? Water pump, water pump, water pump, water pump. Uh, okay. What the? Okay. Three water pumps. And then I suppose I can move the water tanks over as well. Okay. I'll put, I guess I'll just put them there temporarily. Filling these things up is free. Okay, that means now I can empty these. And then I can delete these. And these beavers just pop up like, <laughs> what happened to building? <laughs> so fucking hilarious. Okay. Lumberjack flags. Where are you? Lumberjack flags. These guys won't be able to reach all the way, but it's fine. The very edge trees can be taken care of by that one lumberjack that does reach them. Then I guess I'm gonna delete these now. Yay! Okay. Hmm. I kind of want to move this out of the way and all of these out of the way. That I can have a nice neat farm but that's probably just my OCD talking <laughs> wait are these guys actually unable to candle this whole farm right now uh, my carrot and potato dash is slowly going down it's probably on account of me going from 24 to 36 population in the last five seconds so let's build one more Let's build one more farmhouse. And then I guess we can expand this farm a little bit more. Let me take some carrots. Carrots. And plant them up here. Like such. And let me replace all of these with potatoes instead. Yes. Wait, hold on. Whoa. And then potato. Oh, nope, these have to be gathered first. Are you kidding? Uh, okay. These guys all are working, right? Yeah. I have 10 holers and 4 builders right now, so I actually have a lot of extra, extra hands for work, apparently. God. 120 wood and 40 planks. Actually, that's not nearly as expensive as I was expecting. I think I can actually just build a temple right here, huh? I don't see why not. All right, let's go. Neighborhood temple. I, mean, I just want to check. Oh my god, their aesthetics are actually just being filled up by two shrubs. That's kind of stupid, but okay. <laughs> These guys? Yeah! Man. Let this be a lesson to all of you who play these kind of games. Always think about where to put things. Sometimes you can put things in places that are very important and just like multiply their effect by so much. Because my only housing is up here, so these two shrubs, like they always walk past it every single day just to get here to socialize and stuff. OP. OP. I hate blaster sometimes, but blaster is cool. Blaster is fine. I'm fine with blaster. 
Last year is not like a super annoying one, so. Do I have to? Uh, that's not what I meant to do. Potato. I should probably think about planting the third type of crop soon, huh? What is this? Grill? Oh, right. Grilled potatoes. 68. You know, I think it's also because these berries are filling everything up. Okay, you know what? The bottom one is only for berries. And no more berries in the second and third levels. How's that, huh? Toaster, I'm back from another performance in art. You are still here. Why, well, yes I am, Mark II. These type of games never end. Oh man, it's 11.32. I didn't even know this. Uh, I mean, I'll keep going until 12, probably. And I'll probably end it at that time. It'll be my usual stream length of four hours. But if I really wanted to, I could probably binge this game for like six, eight hours straight. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I don't have a problem. I just think it's super relaxing to play these kind of games. Oh my god, these guys cannot keep up with the... with the wood chopping work. My god. And yet I am still having a deficit of wood. Thanks, I guess. Are there people working here? There are, right? Yeah. Okay, they spent about an hour getting here, but that's fine. Because they can still work here for a really long time. And there they go, chopping down the trees. Each one of them gives eight logs. Oh, they have to spend so long carting the logs back and forth from where the tree was felled. But that's still not a huge problem, is it? Why are these guys just like making planks forever? Oh my god, is that why? Because these planks are just filling up. Is this a bug? This has to be a bug. Why why does it Why does it just let items fill up past the desired amount? That seems to be extremely incorrect to me. That seems like a huge bug. Like, if the only way to control item, the amount of items you have is by completely sectioning them off in the checks, then that means you can at most only control it 200 at a time. Which is absolutely not what is intended. Because I don't want to be... I, I mean, I guess it will just fill up to 200 planks and then this thing will just be filled with planks. I almost deleted that building. That would have been really bad. What are they doing? <laughs> Do you guys hear that? They're like chanting in there. Oh my god, that spirituality buff is 30%? That's crazy. They're worshipping the wrong god. Yeah, this- they're worshipping- Not necessarily. Um... The- the Tostarian Tree of Life is... very tree-like. And this thing is very tree-like as well. So in a way, they are worshipping me. They're worshipping the Tostarian Tree of Life. The Tostarian Tree of Life is something I've only mentioned like one time in the past, but if you recall, I'm actually secretly the god of an alien hive mind, and I only take the form of a toaster here on Earth because that's convenient, basically. But my original form, my original form is a hive mind from an alien planet, and you could say that the center of the, that hive mind looks like a tree in some regards. We call it the Tree of Life. Um, so... They, they might be worshipping the Tostarian Tree of Life, you know? It looks like a tree. 
Might not be wrong. And toasters are also associated with fire, and they light fires in here. So... Wait. Holy shit, these beavers are actually... They love plants. And... And use fire for, for a lot of power. Are they secretly Toastarians? Are you guys secretly Toastarians? Wait a minute. I might have come across the truth that I didn't realize. How do I get knowledge? What? Oh my god, there's three different levels of aw, oh, you need all three of the monuments, I see. Oh, that's so expensive. I don't even have that much. Okay. What I'm really wondering is how to satisfy knowledge. That's fun, spirituality and social life. Yeah, what about knowledge? In Toaster, just be aware of saying this out of the internet, they might think you're crazy. <laughs> if any VTuber said their lore in real life, they would think you're you would think they're crazy. Oh, I see. If you write books, if you make books, then the beavers consume the books to increase their knowledge gauge. Interesting. I think... Oh my god. Every single one of these gauges is actually... Hmm. Yeah, there's no more easy to fulfill gauge here. Even like the wheat one is going to require me to set up some more water wheels for like milling or something, I think. I might be able to do that over here if I build like a small dam segment on the other side and force the wire to go this way. Hmm. And I think I might want to build a second rooftop terrace. Because this six is probably... Is it? Hold on, let me check some random beavers. Social life, no social life. Social life a little bit. Social life is em nearly empty. Yeah, okay, I, I should build another one of those as well. Okay, let's see here. Double platform here, single platform here, 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 and here. And then on top of that, the rooftop terrace. Beautiful. Imagine VTuber straight saying to someone old, Yeah, Satan, got any problem with that? You mean in real life or on their stream? Because, like, there's definitely a few devil themed VTubers out there. <laughs> oh my god. Look how beautiful my fields are. I love them. It looks kind of unbalanced, though. Yeah, I have too many carrots and not enough potatoes now. I should... Let me clear this area. And... Do that. <laughs> I meant in real life. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. Please don't do that. I know there is, in, in Prison Project, there is one VTuber, Luto Adaka, who's like batshit insane, or at least her character is batshit insane. It's so funny, and also slightly worrying sometimes, but it's also really funny. Um, anyways, I don't know why I was saying that. She's, she has like an Akuma character, but that, that's why I mentioned that. And she, at least... Based on the way she appears on stream, she's definitely the kind of person who would just go to someone and scream at them. Yeah, I'm, the, I'm, I'm a devil. You got any problem with that? <laughs> builders hut employs additional builders. Yes, only costs 100 science, so I should definitely. Oops, good other districts. I should definitely get one of these. I can get a few more builders eventually, because four builders is starting to slightly not be enough. Just slightly. Carrots are good for vision. Have you seen beaver using glasses? Oh, that's why. That's why it's one of the th three nutrition gauges. It increases their life expectancy. Nutrition one is the one from carrots. It's good for their eyes. Potato. Okay. I'm actually quite surprised that even three tree people are not able to keep up with all of these plots. Okay. okay. 
Uh-huh. Let me move that. I don't have any raw potatoes, do I? No, I don't. Okay. How is this one grill able to keep up with literally all of these potatoes? My god. Yeah, I can just move it over here. This spot is literally, like, made for it. Wait. Beehive. Boost the growth of nearby crops. That seems kind of good. That takes paper, though, and I don't have paper. Wait, these require gears? What are gears? Let me move the grow over here, actually. Hoop. Okay. Sixty-seven grilled potatoes and nowhere to put them. Of course, of course, there's nowhere to put them. That's annoying. Hmm. Well, now that these guys have all maxed out on log storage, I'm actually starting to go up in wood again. That's nice, I guess. Uh... District does reach pretty far now. Maybe I should think about moving this dam, this dam down to here instead. I think I'll do that. I do have a lot of resources, so that should be fine. Where's the dams again? Yeah, okay, let's see here. I built the dams directly on top of, like, too far from builders. Build new paths. Interesting, okay. Can I build paths underwater? Hold on. Probably can. Just delete these. Oh my god. I can at least build a path down that way. Oh my god. Are there really no hockeys for this? Delete building, force delete building, shift delete. P for pausing a building, that's useful, but I'd rather have hotkeys for all of this crap. Okay. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. And I still don't know why I have exactly one homeless dude. That's just so random. They, they decided to just... Like, I don't have housing space and they just had a child for no reason. It will forever be a mystery. I guess I'll just build another house for them. And mumble, mumble. Do these three guys really only have the ability to keep up with a square this small? That's crazy. But meanwhile, this planter is... Oh, well, the reason the planter is able to keep up with the whole area is because... Is because they don't have to keep up with the people chopping down the wood. So maybe if I did add more lumberjack flags, then... Then the forester would not be able to keep up? Maybe? Maybe? Hard to tell. They do spend a lot of time running around gathering stuff, though. I like the fact that I have eight haulers, please. I probably do want to get rid of this forest here eventually. Maybe replace it with more farms. Eh. Hmm. Triple platform, metal platform. How high does a metal platform go? Four high. Wow. Cool. Blocks water completely. Okay. Wait. Oh, these guys are working on chopping down these trees as well. Interesting. That's why the maples aren't getting chopped down. I see. Doesn't see. I need to build roads over there. 
Too far from builders, really? Do I need to path all the way over it? Hmm. I guess I can't make a diagonal looking dam like that then, huh? Or maybe I can. I just have to fill in the diagonals. That's kind of annoying, but whatever. <clears throat> Run faster! Okay. Imagine being maxed out on berries. Couldn't be me. Ugh. Oh my god. The fact that I need to build these- oh no, I can just pre-build the paths, never mind. <laughs> I'm stupid. Route started? Okay. Not a problem with me. I got two levels of dams here. Fight me. I have a lot of extra water to work with. A lot of extra water to work with. You guys, plant faster, please. Oh, I guess it's just because the plants just grew so they're on harvest and duty right now. I wonder if it'd be better to get into a loop where they plant first. Yeah, it's usually it's better to plant first and harvest later. Because then this will stagger the growth pattern of the crops so that it eventually gets into a pattern where it just like grows and where there's always something to grow and something to plant and something to gather. Instead of right now where they spend like three days gathering everything and then there's just like three wasted days of not. Planting shit. Okay, let's see if we can. Do I really want to spend a thousand cents on the labor monument? What's two thousand wood? Holy crap! What does all one do again? That's a child, so I don't know. Working speed plus twenty-five. That's um, that's pretty good. Oh, I do have 42. Okay. I was wondering, because they're all children. I forgot about that. Gosh darn children. You want to lower that. The science buildings, why do you look so goofy? Why do you look so goofy? I want to move the science buildings across the street. <laughs> Wasting 12 wood on each of these. Ugh. Well, whatever. It's fine. Fine. Doesn't matter. Wood is free. I have so much of it. And then I guess I really will get that monument. Huh? Labor monument. Ah! It costs 1,000 science points to figure out how to build this statue. 1,000! Please. It costs 200 wood to build this as well, man. Hmm. Every day, as they walk down this up and down this staircase to go home, they will look upon this giant beaver statue in awe. Maybe I should move. Build it. Ah, no, this is a good spot to put this. I'll put it right there. <laughs> Welcome back, Ink. Honestly, I should probably stop pretty soon. Already, what, 11.50? <laughs> you see, the grind never ends. 
city. We must continue building the city. Oh wait, they're chopping down trees from over here now. Interesting. All right, guys, build this thing faster, please. Oh my God, you're taking forever. These sand houses remind me of those hands with propellers. Yes, they do. <laughs> it looks so funny. Man, this is taking forever to build. Whatever. Oh, right. We're in a drought. I completely forgot. Wow, the beaver city has definitely improved of pet tons since I last saw it. Yes, I have been working very hard. Hmm. All right, let's plant more carrot things. Is it not beautiful? Well, that sure has taken a long time. There is a head scratcher. There is a head scratcher to that one. This district center is the only thing here that I can't move. But I can move anything. I can move everything else. Logistics saved this town. Thank you, Logistics. <laughs> this isn't really logistics. It's more of a box. It's more of a box packing problem. It's the power of putting everyone right next to the shrub. It's actually the shrub that saved the town, guys. It's the shrub. The shrub saved the town. Logistics is not saving the town. I can't control my logistics because of this. One forty-three planks. Hello. Unhappy. Are the beavers smart enough to... Hmm. Maybe I should... Remove the... Warehouses around. Shrub greater than logistics? Clearly. Wow. Look at that all just fill up. <laughs> Actually, packing things in a small location is just the logistics of um, getting bars to fill up. Um, more efficiently. Um, uh, yes. But yeah, it is logistics. Logistics did save this town. The power of me under. <laughs> wow. 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 Even after manual labor gave way to industrialization, beavers' work ethos hasn't changed. Mm, ba -ba -ba <laughs> the FedEx delivery of- oh my god, speaking of packages, I have this very important package with like- oh my god. I have this package with like 200- like not- wait, more than 200? Hold on. USPS delivery tracking number. All right, let's see what's happening with my package right now. Inbound into customs, are you kidding me? Is it really going to be the in transit? Tracking history, inbound into customs. Your item is being processed by the US customs. Unfortunate. I thought it was gonna get here by tomorrow, but maybe it won't. It says expected delivery by Friday 20 the 24th, which is tomorrow, but it might not happen. Because it's in Illinois. Is it really going to get here from Illinois in one day? But I have this package of, of like 200 to 300 dollars 
worth of 200 to 300 dollars worth of goods from Japan. Like stuff through a stuff through a um, proxy service and I bundled a bunch of items together and had them all delivered recently. So like this package is like please I need the stuff in it. Honestly, 200 to 300 dollars of goods isn't that much in terms of monetary value, but it is a lot in the terms of that I've been waiting for all of this crap for over half a year at this point. So if like all this stuff that I bought half a year ago doesn't come, then I'll just be very sad. No, it's like a collection of different things. There's some art books, some like good like acrylic stands in it. What else is there? There's a tapestry, uh, like this little Suisse key charm holder thing. So when Suisse had her first, when her album was- wait! Water? We ran out of water on the very last day because this dam is not letting the water through. But the water is back now because it's a brand new cycle. Yeah, my water uses is just really high now. They literally drank up all the water or it just like dried up or something. I don't know. Um, that was very spooky though. Why can I not delete these buildings? No, it's not it's not a controller. It is actually a bunch of goods. I was it her first album when it was announced. Suisse's first album was announced like a few a few half a year ago. Um There was also some goods being sold with it. And part of of 100 over 100 dollars of the goods in that package is the Suisse stuff. I hope you're blessed by logistics costs because I ordered like 200 USD of Genshin merch that had to be refunded. Unfortunate. My stuff is on the way. My stuff is on the way, so it's not going to be refunded, but they're... It's, it's already in the US. The only thing that I might be worried about is me not getting the pack... Grabbing the package when it gets here. So I'm like, I've been like eagle-eyeing this... I've been like eagle-eyeing this darn package. The shipping for it for quite a while now. Look, this water floods in and like all this stuff just turns green for no reason. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna need a way to control the water flow up here. How do I do that? Oh, I can build a floodgate and then let the water in when the bottom runs out. Okay. I can build a path. Why? I can't build a path on those, so... Oh no, I can build a platform around the back like this. And then floodgates here and here. Yeah. And then the path goes like that. Cool. Okay. Well, I guess we'll do that for the next route, huh? I'm just expressing when I bought Arcade CDs, it arrived in one week after buying it. Wait, from Japan? Wait, I don't remember where Diverse Direct ships from. Actually, I don't even know where you live. So, it completely depends on your country. Davi Romero sounds like an Italian name or something like that, I think. European? Something in Europe. But that doesn't mean you actually live in Europe, so I don't know. Let's take a look at these guys' bars. Yeah, full awe. Spir Spirituality is full and so is aesthetics. Thank you, game. <laughs> okay, maybe filling up these bars is a bit too unbalanced in this game. <laughs> 
It's from Japan to Brazil. Oh wait, you're the Brazil guy. I still remember... Oh my god, this stupid time zones crap. <laughs> Not the time zones. <laughs> I can't wait to see how these floodgates work. Meanwhile, my headphone took almost one month to travel two states. Lol. Well, that's just different shipping services, right? Because Japan to Brazil would be using a different shipping service. Okie dokes. We have. Wow! Um. My food is... Stable? Synchronize with adjacent floodgates, yes. <laughs> what you expected? Time zones. <laughs> Or what you expected, dam building, what you got toasters confused about time zones. Not this crap again. No, we are not going back to the time zone stuff. Please, please, no more time zone stuff. <laughs> the time zones already scarred me for life once. I don't need them to scar me again. I'm trying to think about where to put my wheat fields to make this area look more aesthetic. I might think about just getting rid of this completely. I move the science buildings somewhere that's not arable land because it doesn't need to be on arable land. Why did I put this on arable land? Hello? Yeah, why did I do that? You don't need to put this on green land. That's actually completely useless. I <laughs> Okay, that's pretty funny. So, when I run out of water down here, I can put these to zero and then the water will flow down. Yeah. Okay, I didn't miss it. Um. Oh god, I should probably end stream soon, huh? I'm sorry, Squid. <laughs> it's so late. Speaking of times when it's 4 a.m. again and god <laughs> Alright, good night, Davi. Building lacks power. Why? Why is the water not flowing? Oh, it is flowing now. Is it because I was messing with the floodgates? It is toasty. It's 3 a.m. It's only 12 a.m. for me, please. Thanks for the stream, Mr. Toaster. Hope for all your projects are doing great. Gengalzo was the music that put me into rhythm and tracks. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, Gengalzo is really, really well known. I hope you're looking forward to it. And please also look forward to the two ZTS tracks as well. I can't say anything about them other than look forward to them, but please look forward to them. Hmm. These forests are getting really big. More concerned about the color from the beach. You're more concerned about... If the next content is going to have that orange wine color theme like the beach, I'm going to die of hype. I don't know ex Do you just mean the color scheme of it? <laughs> wow. The only way you'll see is, well, by waiting until they're announced. <laughs> Let's have to wait until they're announced. Sorry, I can't say more than that. I'm still thinking about where to put the wheat farm, though. Maybe I'll just put it over here. 
Oh, right, I need to move the science buildings. What? Hi, but don't bone well with it, dying. Yes. Yes, beaver. Mmm, bada ba do ya. Mmm, bada ba do ya. Whatever that means. Goodbye. Have a nice day. May you be blessed with possibly deniable toast related miracles. Alright, I'll just delete these right now. Where, where, where did our building go? <laughs> well, anyways. Yeah. The devs better put in actual demolishing, like, later. <laughs> Instead of just the buildings just appearing from out of the ground beneath them. There definitely needs to be at least, like, another beaver that has to run up to the building and deconstruct it. It just makes no sense otherwise. I might have to think about at some point making an artificial... ...reservoir... ...maybe. Because I'm not sure how much, if the water held by this dam is going to be enough. What are you doing? Oh, that's because the berry storage is full. Of course. Of course it is. Got that berries. Berries. Am I positive on food? Maybe? It's probably just being fucked up by the storage. It's so hard to tell because of the storage. Oh, is workday over already? All right. I only have two extra beavers right now. I think I should be safe to delete these wood things and not impact my wood income that much. Maybe I should build more lumberjack flags over here. Oh, right, the reason this isn't going up is because this is full, of course. I'm stupid. <laughs> I thought it was because of some rudder reason or something. You know what? I, I will just delete this. This is not needed anymore. You are no longer a needed man. This is no longer needed. <gasps> and then... Oh, wait, I can unmark this cutting area. And I guess I can unmark this cutting area as well. Because I'm fine with just deleting those trees out of thin air later. Mark that as a cutting area. Oh! Is that why they're only cutting those trees? Because I'm stupid? Oh my fucking god. I just didn't mark these trees for the- <laughs> I just didn't mark them to be cut! That's why they weren't cutting them! I thought they were like... Bottlenecked or something, but I'm just dumb. Okay. Oh. oh my god, guys. Seriously? I just didn't mark them? Whole time. It's just because I didn't mark them. Delete these as well. I was also going to build another house, huh? No, 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 I wasn't. I was side eyeing my food cautiously. I think I can afford another house. Not afford, but you know, I can build another house without running out of capacity. 1,000. I don't want 1,000 though. Because there's no way to limit. The... Let me just build one more house here. And watch as these guys slowly delete everything. Oh my god, I can't believe it. <laughs> uh. Huh.
All right. Well, um, it's been four hours, and apart from a few kinks at the beginning of the stream where um everyone first died of dehydration, and then I almost let everyone die of starvation, but then I realized the power of berries, and then the berries flooded all my storage. Apart from that, I think the store, the city is shaping up pretty well. There's a nice little farming area. And then there's, you know, the living areas and the recreation. And they're having a nice time here sitting on their balconies. And the... Bada bing, bada boom. Yeah, that's just how beavers sound like. That's beaver language. And so far, this has been a very fun and interesting city builder. Uh, apart from like a few obvious like balance issues. I think the game still has it still has quite a bit of gameplay to offer because I'm still not done with them. Um, I haven't unlocked all the bars yet. There's still quite a few things to do. I don't know what I can do with metal yet either. There's like a lot of buildings I haven't unlocked either. Definitely on the more fun side of city builders I've played. But yeah, thank you everyone for tuning in. This has been Timberborn, a game about beavers. Today I learned that beavers are actually much more spiritually connected to me, Toaster, the god of toasters, than I originally anticipated. Uh, because something 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 toaster is nature based. <laughs> Anyways. This is... Wait, maybe I should ask this ask this in my next stream, but but maybe maybe I can give like a a sneak preview of what I want to ask next stream, which is what do you guys think about me opening a Streamlabs for donations? Because I don't know if people would actually donate to me or not, and I feel like it might be a bit awkward if I open one and well. I could just open it and then just put the link in my description and then just let it roll in as it does. You guys have any thoughts about that? Congratulations on being an honorary Canadian by virtue of ruling over a city of beavers. Yeah, I know, right? No, I think real... If I really wanted to rule over a city of Canadians, this game would need to put in, like, evil geese. Evil geese. And, like, snow. <laughs> There's not enough evil geese and snow in this game for it to really be a Canadian game. <laughs> I can't donate, but I'd really want to. Thank you for the sentiments, Jesse. I also feel like... This game is very well polished for something that's only in early access, actually. I have high hopes for it. I definitely have high hopes for it. Well, guess I'm ending stream here. Thank you all for coming. I am a toasty wuss, and I finally eject this piece of wood. <sighs> Goodbye, piece of wood. You will no longer be needed. I am a toasty roasty roaster who roasts toast to make toasty roasts. In goes bread. Out pops toast. And that's how toaster roasts. Oats a toaster. And may you all be blessed with plausibly deniable toast related miracles. Also, let me save. Oh, wait, I don't need to save. It also it already has auto saves, right? Oats a toaster. <laughs> Music is also very beaver-like. Well. <laughs>